soon as I hear back from Amazon, I'll be like, so relaxed, because then it's all on the day thing. I don't know about that. I'm not about the like, oh yeah, email a million people and be like, hey, give us shit, please. some cool like uh, SF. Yeah, you get some like freaky fucking hallway things. <laughs> it's so good. But at the same time, it's so bad. It's like it's great as long as you have enough time. Yeah, um big cheap stuff is going well though. Security is guaranteed now. a lot, but you expected that to uh, instantly slow to be four and a half by frame. Yeah. But. No, we have plenty of 250s. Well, we just underestimate, like, we underestimated likely like, we're going to get 150, and then we were like, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we planned for 150, and then we get 250, yeah. which is like what we're aiming towards the moment. I think we're on 215, which is good considering, like, no Supreme people signed up yet. And no, um, yeah, no Supreme people have signed up, and there's still going to be a lot of people who are going to be signed up. Yeah, so we're still probably going to end up at around 250, and I have had to stop there. I got my landing in. The whole point of Big Chief is to slowly morph into a Buck Bumble event.
Hey guys, hey everybody, what's poppin'? What's, what's poppin' music? <laughs> Damn, that's pretty loud, huh? Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, why is that, why is the fucking game so loud? Oh diggity damn. Is this gonna make it louder? I think it will. Oh no, there we go. That's what I wanted. There we go, that's a bit better to manage. Hey everyone, what's up McLeod? What's up Nick? I'm here, I've set up the stage, we've got lights and everything. I'm excited. You can see my hand. There I am. <laughs> What's good, everybody? Um, I'll quickly update the bracket. Hey, uh, command bracket. Uh, like the actual like bracket link isn't up yet because Musk is still uh, making it. But here you go. <coughs> uh, yeah. How are we going? How y'all been? This is like the last evac before Big Cheese. I was getting really anxious for a moment, but now all that all that anxiousness is kind of gone, so I'm, I'm happy again. But um, yeah, boy, yay. I I might want to turn that light down a bit more. Now that I think about it, it's pretty bright. Pretty bright. Yeah, what's up? Um, it doesn't look like there's too many people here today, but I am keen to play some games. And I'm keen for Big Cheese next week. Literally this time next week. That's crazy to me. Uh, it's flipping me out, but uh, it'll be chill. It'll be a good time. I'm looking forward to playing games today, honestly. So, yeah. Exciting things are happening, um, and as I kind of fucking rules, <laughs> I'm I'm feeling pretty excited just in general, and that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Um, and probably today we'll get some people to actually run more of the like stream shit. That's why I have them set up right next to you, so we can um, back and forth and tell them what to do. There we go. That's pretty good. Alright, um, I'm gonna be going in and out. Alright, Nick's gonna be here. Like, later, I guess. <laughs> we'll see you soon, Nick. Um, yeah, I'm gonna play some games over here.
Okay, everybody. What's up? We're getting ready to start melee here today. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Oh, that's kind of fucking funky. Why are you a low frame rate, my friend? You're also very dark. Alright, I think I need to adjust that camera real quick. Um, yeah, that's, why is that such a low frame rate, huh? The highest FPS? Oh, there you go. Um, yeah, so Big Cheese is next Friday, set day, Sunday. That would be the best time to come check it out because we have so many people here and so many opportunity to play. That would be probably the best way to do it, in my opinion. Alright. There we go. Okay. Wait, is this the fucking match? Whoops. Fuck. Okay, I got scared that that was the fucking match. Whoopsie. Alright, we're all good now. Alright, what's up? Everybody in the house. There we go. Kayla was like directly out of the light. It's very funny. Uh, ultimates on both days. Uh, pool start on the Saturday, though, for ultimate. Alright, everyone. Kai's on the mic. We got Caleb and. We got Caleb and Catherine now. Hey, man. Okay. <coughs> um, so I have. I can't actually remember who won this one last time. Oh my god, the double jump cancel tech chase? Catherine's got that tech now. It's really exciting. Oh, the jump on me. That was a good confirm. 
Like, um, Catherine GI'd in, so Caleb had to react to that one. That's pretty good. Oh, that's actually going to kill. Caleb almost made it back too, but uh, not going to quite get all the way. A lot of nares coming out from Caleb. I think it's kind of smart because it kind of tests the waters for crash cancels, but uh, just got to make sure he doesn't go the wrong way and get put in the blender. He is like swinging, you know? Like he's going across the stage for these aerials and he's hoping for the best. Nice. That might do it. Not quite yet. Taylor being forced into the corner by Catherine's aggression right now. He is still making it work with his aerials and just managing to space barely outside of Catherine, but Catherine finds a good back air. Caleb's not one to just hold the center, it seems. He does like to run around. And when you're playing Falcon, you do actually want to be able to like kind of camp him out with your dash dance. Um, but Battlefield, you don't have a whole lot of room to run, so Peach can sometimes feel pretty oppressive. Good decision up B that early because I uh, caught Catherine trying to get him on the way back. This could be it though. All right, Catherine fails the edge guard. No, Caleb's got this control. He is overshooting a bit too hard right now instead of just boxing Catherine out. Sometimes it's best to just play your advantage and uh, work around that. Oh, the knee's gonna like open it up for Caleb right now. But unfortunately, it's not gonna make it last. Catherine goes up 1-0. Okay. We might be going back to Battlefield here. Interesting. Alright, Caleb, yeah, content to go to the Battlefield. Ruben's joining me on the mic now. Hey, man. Hey, dude. You doing alright? Yeah, man. You just yeah. got off your first match? Yeah. Played Lemons. Falcon did alright against him. Was he playing Moth still? Yeah, he's playing Moth. Okay. So, Catherine took the first game. Caleb brought it back to one such stock each, but... Uh, basically, he was too high percent to keep the dream alive, so he got clipped by an aerial at some point. Mm -hmm. I feel like he could have timed his jump better there, or at least got an up air. Caleb's combos have gotten a lot better. I'll be honest. Yeah, he's gotten better. Like he's actually, he's starting to put the pieces together, which is really nice. <coughs> yeah, having your back turned to Peach when you're ed edge guarding her from coming down is really good because. You got the back air threat, and then like the reverse off air like really catches them by surprise. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And also, if you got the reverse off air, it sends them at a lower angle, which gives them less options. All oh, right. Yeah. So yeah. Baylor's probably. Yeah. Can you like? This is that up there. Can you like trade with uh, like Peach up B with the back air and make it back? Or is that uh, thing? It's, it's a bit hard. Stomp, Stomp's probably better. Okay. But Peach up is pretty good, actually. Yeah, like, I was thinking like the multi hit yeah. would probably fuck things up. It's so good how it knocks down at like every percent as well. Yep. Ooh. Yep, that's what you have to do in the DIOA on that percent. Just unfortunate you got a back throw. <laughs> Yeah, so I was on the Falcon Discord and it's probably the best Discord out of any character. Yeah? It literally has like the... F you just like type in verse Peach off throw or any character and it gives you the percents of every character and if a bot comes up it gives you the percents of every character and every DI. That's and so what fucking you good. Do. Yeah. Holy fuck. It's so good, man. Is there a Falco Discord, bro? <laughs> Dude. Probably. The Sam there's not... There's a Samus Discord, but it, it's... No one uses it. Oh, so. man. There's heaps of discords, but Falcon's probably the best by far, I'd say. Whoa, Ooh. I didn't send that way. <laughs> it kind of worked out for Catherine. Like, she wasn't... She had... Yeah. Okay. Unless she knew somehow, but... If she got hit that way, she had bad GI and we've got knee. Alright. That stomp didn't serve a purpose. She needed to up there, man. 
Yep, up air. Overcommitted with that up air. But he had the he needed to do an up air but not fade that far forward. Yep. Alright. It's caught out by the dash to I mean uh, get up to it. so late on that knee though. This should do it. Oh. Actually that wouldn't have killed, but even if he got the strong P. If he died out, maybe. Oh shit. Caleb's not one to just hold center, I feel. Oh! Good tech, good tech. He's, he's gonna lose. He's got to up here. She needs to throw that turn to catch the... But it doesn't really matter. I guess yes. she's more confident with the back here. Dude, look at that Mark, man. I can't take that good, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Dude, I hope Mark shows up to That was a back here! Doesn't matter. Could have been a stomp as well. Yeah. Unfortunate. Oh, what? Liked... Where was the jump? No, he he jumped and air dodged into the oh, move. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> That's so upsetting. <laughs> See, I can't play Falcon. I couldn't play Falcon. I would be too disappointed at all times. <laughs> 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 I would just be like, oh, oh. what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean this is my only chance to get back? No, that was a grip. All right, let's see how Caleb gets out of this corner, if he does. Okay. Nice. All right, he gets reverse hit. That's how he gets. He's still in there. Ooh. Oh, Catherine's, Catherine's playing so well. Good. She's containing him. Like, she's actually reading. It's so nice. Oh. Like, the jab on shield, and then she, like, dash back. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it was good. That, that's the stuff you really want to call out from Falcon, and from Caleb especially. Caitlyn's oh. going to roll. Caleb's going to roll. Yep, yep. yep. <laughs> Ooh, good spot punch. There it be. 2-0. Damn. That's close yeah. though. Close though. Close though, but Catherine's actually kind of dominating lately. Mm. I'll be honest. Yeah, let's be real. Let's be real. I won. Yep. There we go. Alright, I need to change some stuff here. There we go. That's looking better now. That's looking better. Alright, who's what, what's next? I have to play stores, don't I? Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll do that now. Then. Yeah, I'll, I'll just play some. Is McLeod here? Oh damn! I would. I was kind of hoping to play him this tournament. Oh well. That'd have been fun. I can't see chat by the way, so. Guys got that. I've just got the big TV. I can lean over though. Yep, Samus Discord community fucking sucks. <laughs> and like the thing is there's not much to do. Well I mean like it's all neutral based playing Samus most of the time. And that's like a lot harder than just like, oh what should I do off down throw at this percent and this DI. It's a lot more Falcon's a lot more flow charty. I mean, like, you got combos. You got, I mean, you got combos against fast forwards, like, if, like, two, three pieces, but. Mm, Catherine's eating. But yeah, like, if you're getting, like, more than, like, two, three hit combos with Samus, that's usually pretty custom. But that's how it is. Lots of DI mix ups. Do we have a match? Yeah, we have a match. We're, we're playing. Us two? Us two. Oh. I was trying to find a, um, what is it? Oh, okay.
Hello? Hello? <coughs> so it looks like we got Monscat versus Ruben. I think Ruben's going Falcon this time. So it's Falcon versus Peach. Yep. Yeah, that's the match. We just played this match yeah. before. Hey. Uh, I think normally Ruben struggles against Monskite's Peach. Like as Falcon, maybe. Well, I don't think he's that good in the matchup in general. Yeah, because you've beaten him a few times. Yeah. Like, I haven't played against his Falcon recently, but from what I remember, um, it's not the best. Yeah. I know McLeod does speak pretty highly of Ruben's Falcon, though. Plays it on that play a lot. Yeah. So. Well, to be fair, McLeod's Peach and my Peach are two different Peaches, so... Yeah. McLeod's, like, a lot more into, like, using, like, sub float up airs and stuff, while you are just focused more on, like, dash attacking in the situations where you would use sub float up air. Yeah. I mean, his is, you know, probably a lot yeah. better in some situations, but mine is a lot easier. Yeah, I think the style that he's going for is, um, it's going to be better when he, like, masters it and, like, gets really consistent, but yeah. right now he's not very consistent. He's going to, like, mess stuff up. Mm. So. But, you know, all you need sometimes is just a dash attack, especially when it knocks yeah. him far away, when they're near ledge. Yeah, dash attack is like really, really good. Yeah. Ooh, small. It's gonna be a small stage. Yeah, it's interesting because we struck the battlefield. Yeah. I know. I like battlefield as Peach in the matchup. Oh, well, even Falcon. Yeah. Are oh, you gonna switch the cameras? You know how to do that. Oh. Uh, I I guess it doesn't really matter. It's fine. So Ruben's looking pretty fast right now. Yeah. Just like doing aerials and just dashing back and it's not just pretty much what you have to do. Yeah. Well basically in the early percent your goal is to get percent without committing. Because lots here moves are much yeah. cancelable. That's Falcon, I mean. I think at oh. low percent oh. up there. I think at low percent you really just want to go for a grab or like a stomp or something because Nair just gets crouch cancelled. Yeah. Those, those are both commitments. Like grab less so because it's so fast. Yeah, dash grab is like unreactable from like a certain range. Yeah, so I guess it's just, it's getting in that range to get a dash grab. Yeah. Like that. That was pretty good. Down throw knee is kind of hard to get on the beach if you're trying to react to the DI. Um, sort of, but it should, like, it's not, it's not that hard, I'd say. But thank you, Jack. Yeah. It's because Peach has, like, really, like, she has, like, frame, like, really fast options that escape her. So yeah. you have to be really frame perfect. Yeah, but so worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, see, the thing about this matchup is that both characters can combo each other a lot. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's to be expected anything against Falcon. Yeah, Falcon against anybody, really. Yeah. Like, he has combos on everyone, but gets a bit hard himself. Yeah. He is so fun to hit. I definitely would not have done that turn sometimes. Yeah. Just waiting for the So Muscat does the same DI and gets me for it. Mm. Should probably mix up his DI. I mean. Just to like make it a bit harder, I think. Like maybe Ru I don't I doubt Ruben has like the reaction down. I don't remember he had it down perfectly, but last time I think he had it down somewhat. Oh yeah. Yeah, that happens. Side B can go through projectiles. Yeah. Turn 
stood up their place in this match. But it's yeah, it's it's really hard to pull them yeah. against Falcon. You just like fly across the stage. You know. it's, um. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. See you later, stream. Hey ho, Kai's back on the mic. How's this set going? Uh, if they just took the first game. Okay. Yeah, they go on to the stadium. Which what is is, what's your opinion about the the whole counter pick war that these two have been having? Um. Oh, this I'm is best of five too, damn. Is it? Oh, it was winning semi, so. Oh yeah. Could be like that. Um. I oh, know. I'm just surprised Ruben's going Falcon since historically this has not been a matchup he's good in. Well, you know, if he can if he can beat Anthony's Peach, then you know, good on good for him. Ooh. Does this matchup um, as the Falcon need to be competent and you're Ooh. neutral and punish? Musket doesn't have a jump either. No. Yeah. Uh, he's not gonna get. You can't really get down this situation as Peach. Nice! Yeah. He traded with like the last hit too. That was pretty hype. Yeah. Oh. Well. Ruben's actually got tag on Falcon. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm actually, it's funny how we went from like having no Falcons to three. Didn't we have Mark for a while? Yeah, we did. And then he stopped playing for a bit, and then Caleb showed up around the same time Mark started playing again. Oh. Like, that was a that was like about a year when Mark didn't really come to much. It's been a while. So it's hard to remember the early days. <laughs> the early days. Oh. Do you think this is a good stage for Ruben and Falcon? Um, I think it's a good stage for Falcon. I'm not sure about Ruben's Falcon. <gasps> Oh! oh he did that was gonna be it. Don't pick it up. Don't pick it up, Ruben. But no, I want one of them to pick it up. Whoa! Okay. Okay, musket. Oh. All right, now he... uh, it's probably it's gonna be his undoing. Honestly, yeah. I don't know how. I know. Ru I remember back in the day when uh, Ruben actually entered tournaments with Falcon when he first started. Eons ago that was. Yeah. That was like four years ago, just about. Yeah. Then you played Samus. Can you keep going Falcon? I don't. I don't like the Samus match. <laughs> well, the thing is, is like. I don't well, know. I don't. I don't, I don't even. I don't even know what like. Why the Falcon came to be, like in today's world, you know. Uh, I think like maybe. So he's tried this fox before, right? Yeah. And I'm. That hasn't worked out. So That's maybe, true. maybe he was like going back to his old bread and butter Falcon. Maybe, yeah. Since the matchup is um, it's not bad for Falcon. I'd say it's in his favor. Does Samus have a three-frame grip jump squat? I feel like she does. Someone in chat can confirm that. Also, our internet is uh dying. We might need to swapsies to this Ooh. one. You never want to have a turn up when there we go. he's anywhere that close. This should this should come back now. Oh. That was a good feedback. Sorry, I didn't go for stomp. Oh, there's stomp. Oh, that's scary. He's just a disadvantage. Oh, no. The turn up. There we go. Uh, Alright, we're back. Uh, we're back, we're back. Uh, I saw the I saw the red square in the corner and I'm like, oh shit, we're not we're not online anymore because the net dropped out. If you're still watching, thank you. Say hi and chat if you're here. And we're going back to stadium. Hey no stadium is a legit pick in this matchup as the Falcon. I think he just doesn't want to deal with Dreamland. I mean what stage would you pick as the Falcon? Honestly, yeah, either this or Yoshi's. Yeah. Every other. Uh, I don't think Battlefield's too bad. But, like. I can't. I don't know if the side boss zones are close on this stage. Uh, I believe they are. They seem like they are, don't they? Yeah. But I haven't actually looked at the exact 
blossoms. Yeah. Because, like, if it is pretty close, then it would be the best stage for Falcon, but... Whoa. Oh, what a sick recovery, actually. Yeah, he's been getting some good feedbacks. At the moment, Ruben's just getting stuffed out by the lingering hitboxes of a lot of Peach's moves. Like, the very last active frame kind of stuff. Because Falcon takes a little while to get out of his attacks, and yeah. Peach doesn't take that long to get out of her attacks. Yeah. That's why you need to make use of Falcon's immediate speed yeah. before you put out hitboxes. Ooh, oh, bye! <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> That was pretty funny. <laughs> but you don't want to be here if you're even there. Yeah. You want to be as far away from... Yeah, okay. That's what you want to do. Yeah. You want to just stump the yard here. Oh, Use the invincibility. I, I wouldn't... I don't know. I personally wouldn't go down unless you think... I wouldn't go down there unless you're invincible. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, maybe if you were to go to, like, yeah, a yeah, ledge yeah, this and is then good. drop down. You, you just want to, you just want to oh. take away the stitches. Bomb? You just want to take away Woo. the turnips. That was a bomb. No bomb for musket, though. Yeah. I saw the explosion and I was like, ooh. <gasps> oh, what a ballsy grab. If Nangs was actually really early with an aerial there, he would have blown Musket the fuck up. Sometimes you gotta make those decisions. Oh, here we go. Ding? Oh, uh. Now Ruben's starting to get more comfortable. You can see him actually like running around. Mm. It's good. When the Falcon just takes control of this stage it is so impressive as Pete. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I like that he's willing to take these trades. I mean Becca is just really good. That sort of thing. Okay, I think I think uh, Ruben's starting to figure one or two things out now. About the matchup. He's yeah. using the platforms. Yeah. Using the really oh. big stomp hitbox. Oh no. Yeah, that's, that's death. Yeah. No chain up those. Ooh. Everyone has to play very carefully. Just getting snuffed out. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, That's Ruben's not happy him. about that grab. Uh, he has to finish his stock pretty much now. Yeah. <gasps> oh, That's that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're up. <laughs> we're up. So this set Beach. has historically been very one-sided. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, thing is, SA has like, well, at least like two PR, like two PR Beach mains, um, Catherine and McLeod, and they both they both su succeed and fail in different matchups. You know. Yep. 
They, if they could combine, they'd have like a pretty good matchup spread. Like, but no. yeah. Pit. Um, Catherine just isn't fast enough to carry on the lasers. I think. Yeah. I think. That's and I think she plays it like too impatient as well. She doesn't yeah. like respect when it's Falco's turn. She, in her mind, it's like it's always my turn, or I can make it always my turn. Yeah. Um, whereas. Yeah, McLeod definitely has more of a, like, well, it's like hard, because there's a lot of, like, dishonest habits from both of them. Yeah. Um, but Ale uh, McLeod definitely has a greater grasp of, like, yeah. the neutral against Falco. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's not already a foregone conclusion. We could see something happen, potentially. Catherine has been on, slightly on the rise. Um... But, yeah, it's definitely going to be a Kai favorite matchup. Mm -hmm. But who knows, Kai's controller might actually... Yeah, might carry Catherine. Might carry Catherine. <laughs> that <laughs> as, one, as we said. That one, um, got that one set, uh, Kai had against Bailey. Where Bailey almost won by doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> I reckon if he didn't... If he didn't go for that if, if he didn't, if he did nothing, he would have won. Yeah. yeah. It's probably like he just needed to stay on stage like a few more seconds and wait for Kai to like side B again. <laughs> yeah, he would have won. He would have won. Yeah. Nah, he said himself. He didn't feel like. Um, yeah, he didn't. He, he, he didn't feel like winning. He didn't want to win that. <laughs> yeah. I, to be honest, I don't think either of them felt like winning. But um, I just know. remember like Nick like posted in chat. It's a shame someone had to win that match. No, I know. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Ooh, Flowey's slacking. Oh no. Kai's off center. Alright. Scores on even. Uh, another thing about um, Catherine against Falco is that, like, she's very bad about getting out of, like, disadvantage as well. She's, like, yeah. she's a very great. Oh god, this could be it, though. Uh, she's definitely one to hit that A button. Yeah. Oh no. That, that definitely would have worked if. Uh, Ooh, Kai either flubbing or not. If they miss that down smash, I'm always going to get off the tape. Yeah, it just, it just like sweeps the whole platform. It really does, it's like... It feels very and, and, you, and you know like, the reason they're hitting you down is so they can get a read off the smash attack. So, yeah. May as well go for it. I agree. So Kai there was like doing these really high auto cancel bears. You, oh no, that's not. That death say should have rolled, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Falco's like doing that high bear on your shield. You can definitely back out of shield and just. Yep. Okay. Even though it's got like zero, like four frames landing leg, still very unsafe. <laughs> you spent so much time in like. In the air, yeah. yeah until Oh, good catch. I did not expect him to get that. Cute wave lens. Oh, okay. Oh, Catherine really needs to. Dash oh, oh, no. Is the right times. Like, yeah, the right idea is poorly timed. Kai made it hard for her with the fast forward there. I agree. Kai's, like, mix ups on his um, fast forward timing, so pretty good. Oh, God, that's. Yeah, Catherine's edge guards are always. It's been a killer for her. Yeah. <laughs> it runs in the family. Yeah. She'll get there. She will. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's fresh. Mm. Ooh, I like it. Definitely. Catherine's shield's quite low now. And she's definitely one to, like, run and chill, so... Yeah. When you should flow like that, it kind of feels like... It's kind of nice how you can, like, regenerate it while, like, you're floating back down to stage. That's, there. It. Yeah. That's <laughs> definitely true, yeah. <laughs> and Floaty did it, if my yeah. shield's low, I'm just, I'm just gonna hang in the air for a bit. Is, just, <laughs> just take the hit, you know it's not gonna come back. Yeah. Come back down with full shield. Oh, try to do something cool, but... Oh, good shorter. Mm. Well, that was mid, right? Yeah. Yeah. Those are 
I'm always impressed when someone can hit like the mid short. The short short and especially Falco. I mean, it's Falco and Fox. It's pretty much just like mashing, be at like mm, yeah. timing, but. Oh. That's it. Yeah, that was quite commanding. Mm. So I think we're going to Fountain. I think we're probably going. If this is a Frio, we're probably going to two Fountain games. Um, FC is a definitely a good stage, but mm -hmm. you need to actually like know how to get the grab <laughs> for FD to be good though in this matchup. And SDI. <laughs> I like it. This, yeah, this has been a pretty good stock, but Ooh, then. Ooh, shit gone out there. Yep. Oh, very bad. That was a very greedy down smash. But... Oh! Quite well, a Ah. Uh, yeah. The net was right. You just need to, like. You just need to float, float it properly, yeah. Uh, yep. I was just like, don't down smash. He's going to take it. <laughs> like, <laughs> Every floaties mm -hmm. nightmare. How am I getting down from side or top flat against? Yeah. Fox and Falco don't have to care when they're on side flat. Yeah. It's true. Yep. You can use it as an advantage. Yeah, you can. <laughs> it's so easy to get down. Ooh. Oh. Grab is right idea. Is it better to boost grab with Peach? No. Oh. Um, the thing is, you just, in general, when like, you're chain grabbing, you just, um, you don't jump cancel grab, you just do... Oh god, it just hit me. I'm pretty sure Will knows not to jump cancel grab, because if he's been jump cancel... No, he cancel, knows, he you knows. Know. Okay, good, yeah. Knows. With, I just had this vision of like, oh, so then yeah. he starts doing regular grab and he just hits yeah. his chain grab, so... Yeah, but boost grab is dash grab, right? No, it's, um, okay. Boost grab is like, um... Dash attack cancelled into grab. Oh, so it is standing grab. Yeah. 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 Oh, good tech chasing. Oh, please. No, no down no. air. Yeah. Down air or bear. It's dash, well, it definitely wasn't dash attack. That definitely was yeah. dash attack, no. Yeah. Yep, you need to get that up and away DI yeah. for the dash attacks. Mm. Best DI. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, good coverage. Rarely gets basic with that. Um, dash out at down smash. Yeah. Ooh. Nice, nice brush. Alright, this should be it. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I was like, don't like mess it up and do an up air and she I falls out of it. So <laughs> yep. I can say that. Oh, it's... Yep. Okay. Ooh. Well. Damn. Yeah. Catherine doing that down smash there was inevitable, but... It was... It, it was a hard spot for Kai. Yep. It felt like she was definitely like sort of slightly panicking and fishing, just like, oh god, I just gotta get this hit, yeah. but... That platform was at a perfect height for that. Yeah. But what Yoshi's... The land of where shine shine kills floaties at 40. Oh, I love this. I love this stage, as Falco. Yeah, it's. That said, it's still it's a reasonably cramped stage, so yeah, it, Peach can kind of put out. We've all seen Mango vs Armada. <laughs> yeah. <in Genesis>. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Poor <What's that> Taffer. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, don't go, don't Yashi. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, I reckon up here would have saved it. Like, he would have made it out. Yeah, man. Oh. Yeah. Well, he's waiting for oh, like oh. an option. Okay, it doesn't go for sure. It just does a nice. classic now. That, catch you, that always catches you unexpected when you're playing Falco. Hey, yeah. bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Really good fight height. Yeah, for yeah, moves. not to get hit. Nice legend. That's something Kai definitely excels at. <laughs> he really does. 
good for him. He puts the time. Well, he, well, not sure now, but he has put in the time to... On it, At so. least in the past. In the past, yeah. It's one of those things you kind of need to maintain. You really do. You really, really do. But I don't think it's as hard as people think. No, it's the. It's just. It's also not the most fun to practice. So people. Yeah. Not, people would rather just beat up on a random CPU that's not going to di anything like an actual person for yeah. an hour than practice something that they're going to be using in an actual game. Yeah, well. It's just frustrating. It is, Like, really. especially using the under punch, that's frustrating as. But I feel like I'll get it way more if I'm just, like, on best level 1 CPU, I'm just gonna hit them. Yep. But then I'm missing all the time on under punch. It's that placebo, man. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that, actually, from Cav. She was... Trying to bait out a jump, but just didn't have the space yeah. in Oh, this would be so... yeah... Oh, I thought like a quick, like a bop bop double shot. Yeah, yeah. But... That does it. Alright, well we can't go back to pot. Catherine's thinking to herself, oh god. I didn't, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think I'd get this far. Free, uh, I think it's probably gonna be... Yeah, about yeah, a bad fit. Yeah, I was going to say Battlefield to run it back to Yoshi's. Mm. Probably fits my style more. Yeah, I agree. The oh, one. FD, what the hell? Mm, Catherine can't chain grab. No, no, she can chain grab. It's, she's not like comfortable at, like getting the actual grabs. Okay. Damn. But, like, I being able to just like, pick FD and be scary is huge, though. Mm, I agree. Yeah. That's why I'm always surprised when like foxes don't chain like some foxes don't um learn to chain grab. I'm like, all right, so that's it's a, big, it's a pretty big deal, and it's basically dittos. Yeah. I guess I think the problem is, like the problem is so much that Catherine can't get to grab. I think she doesn't like she doesn't consider the trade off of like. Yeah. Nice, good DI mixer. Uh, well, yeah. Well, at least she went out. She, I think yeah. she went out a bit earlier. She could have flipped. Yeah. yeah. Slight hesitation. But, like... It's improving. She's got the first stock, 87 on it. Not bad. Yeah, Falco just wants... Every spacey here just wants a bear. And... Mm -hmm. It's... it's like, yeah, it's safe and it'll kill. It really is. Ah. Uh, Good recovery, though. Yeah. Need, needed to, like... I don't know, just like drop the flow and dash attack mode. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That Ooh, was really good. Really, really good, good punish. Yeah. I just, it's every time like a Fox or Falco gets punished for using up to it, it just, it just <laughs> makes me smile. Shut you up. <laughs> it's such a good move. It <laughs> really is. It, and it's hard to punish, and when you see it, you're just like, yeah. <laughs> like, sometimes I go for a second up tilt, sometimes I go for spot dodge into shine. And yeah. It's like pull out of the um spot dodge. She's just gone for grab. I think when like Falco's spot dodging he's always holding down. Like he's constantly ace down down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're holding that C stick. Mm. Yeah, punish her with a down smash. Be uh, oh she wasn't confident enough. I think what it is, it's like she's thinking to herself, okay, side B is coming. Yeah. And then by the time she reacts to like, oh side B is actually not coming, it's up B. She's always like, oh no, it's too late. Yeah, it's I just can't. a slow reaction. Yep. Ooh, Kai's been lucky, his side B's haven't put him have on stage. He's, he's been going on stage with the side B's. Mm. See, that's the strat, use more use, use more lasers in the corner so you can side B to snatch. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yep, make up for the... Yep, see, run, run, get a bit of distance. Yep, see, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. See, that was a bit more, more dangerous I know. laser there. Catherine's slight lead, but this could very yep. quickly go. Yeah, up here. No, up here, dude. I mean, both would have worked, but up here's easier. Mm. Alright, fresh peach dog. <laughs> yeah, it's point. The problem is, Catherine, yeah. I can't get in the trap of thinking, okay, I gotta land a down smash and just throw it out whenever. Yeah. Because 
But that's kind of what she's thinking, yep. Yep. She's thinking, I gotta get this, like, 340%, but it's not free. And Falco is definitely... Oh! That is a really unfortunate angle. Doesn't get edge guarded. Nice. Alright, yeah. <laughs> yeah. God bless Faces. It's facing this matchup where they can just, they're feeling under pressure, they can just retreat the top flat. I swear, like, half the time when I'm, like, on top flat, I'm just like, wow, I'm stuck in my movement on the platform. Yeah. And, but then it's alright because it's you're on top flat. You're on top flat? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, what? Ooh, that was close. Oh, nice DI, though. No. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, no, my movement, I'm playing Falcon and my movement's. Like, fucked up on the top platform, and it's like, oh, fuck. All right, let's just do a stomp and reset. Like. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh, probably, I feel like we're going stadium or streamline. Stadium, yeah. I think I for a split second was like, do I call out the FD? It was like, no. Nah. Like there's nothing that Falco gains from FD as opposed to yeah. him, like, streamline. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's good. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Tired. yeah. So Nat Capron was like under a lot of pressure. I feel like at, even though it's not the greatest, a roll there would have been not bad because worst case scenario you get hit and you're hit like on the other side of the stage. Like I don't think Kai was trying explicitly to pull out a roll and punish something like a down uh, an S match or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good pressure. Mm. Oh, that could have definitely. If he, was, if he was ready for that to hit. Okay, that was a. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. He's, he's like, is he gonna get pineapple? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The captain really. Did. From his point, captain. Yep. You always have to expect it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> is like no, nah, you're not you're not pressure machine. Yeah, you always see that a lot, just like a nair or a down smash when Catherine's in disadvantage. Mm. Yeah. And like no, she recognizes when you're slow, so if you're slow, you just need to roll away. Don't try and keep doing what you originally planned. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because that's where you get hit. Like, like knowing when you're slow or like too fast is huge in this game. So. Mm. Knowing yeah. when to just like, you gotta know when to hold him, you gotta know when to fold him. You gotta know when like sometimes it's better just to take positioning and. Yeah. Um, you can even see at the top level, yeah. like. And it's like, yeah, you did a. You did like a really high dare and peach at like zero, like yeah. you're, you're probably not gonna get the shine, so just like shield or roll away. Exactly. Yeah. You can't treat the game like a macro. Yeah, because you're gonna make those mistakes. Well, there it is. But yeah. All right, am I playing Caleb? I believe so. All right. Cool. Good luck. Alright, that was um, a lot closer than expected, but Kai's still closing it out pretty solidly, Game 5. Um, some good stuff from Catherine. Um, yeah, up next we have Nangs and Caleb. So I'm guessing this is going to be a Falcon Ditto. I think at this point, Ruben's Falcon is... Uh, I wonder, it's probably better than Mark's. Not by a like, whole lot, but I think it's probably better than like, Black Shadow's Falcon, so... It's... Yeah... I guess... No, uh, I guess Nick's Falcon's pr probably still the best Falcon in SA. But, I mean, Nick doesn't actually play Falcon, <laughs> except in, like, friendly, so... so. Ruben's the best Falcon you're going to see on an SA stream, by an SA player, most likely. Uh, Caleb's definitely been on the come up. He's very, he <laughs> was a very, very slow improver the past few years, but it seems like things are starting to come together a bit more, um, which is good to see. It's good to see hard work actually, even somewhat paying off. Um, 
So I wonder where these two start. Scar can ditto. Well, probably Battlefield. I think if I'm if I'm Ruben, I probably want to go Dreamline. Just because larger space. But then as you maybe not, because Caleb definitely plays a lot more defensive. Like a uh, much more defensive style of Falcon compared to Ruben. So maybe Ruben wants like wants smaller quarters and just abuse him with his fast like I'd say Ruben's definitely the faster of the two. So maybe he just wants somewhere to like smother him. Yeah battlefield. Let's both Falcons enjoy the stage. Joining me is Will. What up? It's not a matchup we see very often here. It really isn't, and it's already. <laughs> oh, what a guy. That's the great thing about it. Say everyone's friends, so everyone. No, I, I. That was not a friendly move. That wasn't a friendly move. That wasn't a. That wasn't a. That was a. I don't need this dog. I'm better than you. I know it. Oh shit. On E. I. Caleb uh. archering back. Yeah. <laughs> already have Caleb Woods there. That'd be high. What, what, okay. Alright, alright. No, you, got, you got one. This is G. Alright, well. This is actually. Is this a warm up? Uh, actually, no. I, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm. <laughs> oh god, I had that moment of like, is this. It's, no. I don't think. No. It would seem kind of foolish if it was a warm up. No, but I don't they, think it is. They wouldn't go from hand warmers until like exiting out and then going into hand warmers again. Oh, maybe they are. Oh no. I it's mean, hard to tell. They're hitting sometimes. each other. Yeah, they're, they're like. Sometimes they <laughs> Sometimes. You know when like you're watching Hamels and one person like does throws out a move that obviously wouldn't hit. Oh, sorry, no, in a natural game, sorry. When someone like throws out a move that like obviously oh, wouldn't yeah. hit, and you're like, um. so hey, why is Caleb playing pink? I thought he always plays a normal one. Yeah, I get it. Damn, it's hanging a message. Damn, what 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 message are you trying to say? I don't know. Okay, well, so. That was real interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah. one sec. The screen is like half a meter way too close to my eyes. It's so large. Do you want to back a bit? Nah, it should be right. Okay. I'll cope. You'll cope. You'll persevere. I want every, all our viewers right now to know the sacrifice that Will is going through to yeah. provide this commentary. My eyeballs hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the great thing about this is this is actually best of five, so we get to see potentially four more games of... I mean, you know... You can say what you want, but Caleb took room in the last turn. Oh, yeah. It's no, it's no wonder he's going back. I think they took each other the last turn. They took each yeah. <laughs> oh, he's too fast for his own good. Like, on paper, Ruben should win, but... I agree, but... Um, it's not happening. It's not happening. <laughs> The thing is, like, Caleb has the better down throw tech chasing. Like, off raw, like, off pure grab. Right. But I think Ruben's tech chasing overall. Like, I think Ruben gets more off um, her tech chase than Caleb would just because. Experience as a player or whatever. Yeah, he has a better understanding of, like, where you're going. I claim. Yeah. It's the whole, like,. SJ Wizzy thing. Damn, no. Ruben, that's easy. What are you doing? Oh. Damn. This is a... It's all fun and games still gets the game too. <laughs> and there's no there's no what, what is this game? I know. Big money. Never mind. He messes up his grab. It's probably pretty hard early percent, right? It, well, oh, okay. he went for up throw. Went for like up throw instead of down throw. Mm. Well, like down throw is better. I wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> but fair enough. Ooh. 
Oh, that oh, was actually shit. really good. That was really good. <laughs> That was a little, little slight smirk from Ruben. You know, he's just, he's thinking, okay, all right. Ready, go. <laughs> it's gonna be real sad if he, if he chokes. <laughs> like the, the whole, the whole set. The whole set. I think he's probably going right. I, I can't imagine a world even if he's like, even if it gets a two-one or two-two, where Ruben um, goes to Samus. <laughs> Because I think in his mind he's like, yeah, I don't think he's. It's a pride thing. Plus, yeah. also, not even, not even that. It's like I think he just wants to genuinely play. Yeah, I don't think improve. he's here to win. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, everyone's here to like. He's not here to win 100 percent. Like, try 100 percent to win. That's what I'm yeah. yeah. Like, obviously, for, for, like, no one intentionally goes like, huh, I'm gonna try and lose. I'm gonna like, because yeah. it's yeah, so yeah. fun. But him can value things other than the end result. Yeah. Like, oh, well, that's how melee works. Yeah. There's no like money in it. So can't really. <laughs> Doesn't work to go 100% to win. Hey, whoa, these two are fighting for bus fare. Yeah. <laughs> Jack, t Jack talking about the old quote about two people playing for the 30% of the $45 <laughs> still being relevant in Australia. All, all the ultimate people need to play. That'd be hype. Oh, you know, yeah. Autumn is different. Autumn is like you're like a very, very few are actually playing for that. Yeah. Um, thirty percent of the like two hundred, three hundred. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Covered everything. Oh, big money. Might actually be. Never mind. Goes for. Goes for the read. Out jab. Oh. That nice. was really good. Yeah. Hell's own it. That was just. He has a calm. Oh. oh. Damn. Alright, there we go. There's a. There's a slight smoke. Yeah, we. I think, I think we're going straight back. There's not going to be any Samus this set. Maybe not straight back to the fight, but... Yeah, I don't really know how, like, he picks stages and duos. Oh. Seems like an average very but... I think you have to think about, like... Because not everyone... Even though it's the same character, not everyone plays it the same way. you got to yeah, think about, yeah. like, what they value. Like, I would assume in this matchup, um, Caleb values something like FD a lot more, because he really likes moving, like... He doesn't really abuse platforms as much as yeah. um, Ruben does. He just kind of stays grounded, and there's no platforms to mess up. Moves. Yeah. Like I think Ruben definitely prefers um, platforms for like tech chasing. I Caleb. guess it may be as well if you're like losing, you don't want the smaller stages because you have like cheese or whatever. I don't know. That's it. Like, if you think you're the better player, it's a classic like going to a larger stage to force more interactions. Yeah. You don't want to get like down for an offer and need it like 40, or, yep. like 50 and die. That's my theory anyway. Mm. Is um, does Falcon have a like a confirmed kill throw at any percent? I would assume at some point up throw need would work for all the eyes. Probably. Probably. Oh, okay. Oh. Ah, not quite. He did everything right. He right just, idea. Yeah. It's the very end. Oh. I'm not sure if that was a, meant to be a Santa get up or just messed up, but that pretty much cost him a stop. Anyway. Mm. Nice. It's always impressive when I see a Falcon oh, cool. hit a um, really fast gentleman and like actually act out of it. Mm. I like Ruben's go to those. They're both pretty good at it. Yeah, yeah. They're both like. 
Oh, that was a... That would have been cool if it worked, but... <laughs> yeah, but that actually did anything. <laughs> that's nice. It's not even fair. Falcon... Is it? When, like... Because, I mean, Falcon's, um... Her box extends up. So... Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, you could dodge attack her. Yeah. I'm trying to, like, punch the hand oh. or whatever as it comes up. So where are we going? Let's see... FD, maybe? Yoshi. I think we're going FD, but that's... Probably. Yeah, okay. Ready? Go! Oh, dude. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I was just like, my brain was like, oh yeah, you're warming up. Warming up, yeah. Mutual yeah. <laughs> King Ham Warmers. Mm. Have you ever had it, someone ask for mid set Ham Warmers? No. Oh, that's really clean. That sounds pretty alpha, honestly. <laughs> just like. <laughs> Wait, Dave, he's like, switches characters or just for, for a good time? I mean, he doesn't normally do it, but like, he has in the past. Like, right. Um, say, like, if, he's been, if he's been playing. He goes, um, switches characters. Yeah, like yeah. from after she could be like, yeah, can we do this on the hammers? <laughs> All right, how are we? How are we closing the stock out, Caleb? Oh, they could have DI. They could have got a need, but it's so hard. You don't expect them to DI yeah. like that. So. Oh no, there, the panic girls. They both tried those um, crouch cancel, like, Tectasia's not working. I'm not sure why, you can like, you just have to keep it held down for both hits and then... You just dash out of it. Okay. Oh, it's all falling. Oh no, it's Yeah, Ruin's lived in control after games. Oh, almost. <laughs> okay. Use the yellow yeah. stick. So I have to like talk about this matchup. They're just a lot of like flinging moves. They really are. They're like, hitting more. They're kind of just um. Yeah. It's like it's not really comboed, but just like. A couple of moves, and then you just get like a stomp to death or whatever. There's not really a lot of like double jumps. Like double jump into like you see like Wizzy go for um, like intentionally jumping and double jumping and putting out a nair and then falling with it. Right. Kind of just running at each other, trying to call out each other's overshoots with nair and um, <laughs> Ruben's done a lot better job at this game. Mm. Yeah, because I haven't been able to get in. Mm. All right, well. Go, Ruben, do something funny. No. Do you think that's what he think he's thinking? That's he's like, definitely what he's thinking. Like, how can I close this out? We'll fight. That wasn't I... funny. Yeah. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah, those last two games, he's looked in control. Mm, definitely. Um, up next, I believe, we have Catherine and Lemons. Oh, we have we have Dogfort on stream. That's like high production value. It's um, that's good. We're like using it to um, get people experience ah, the stream for Big Cheese. That's cool. Yeah, because I was saying this track before. I don't think like melee is going to be like the melee side is going to be as big of an issue because a it's going to be less people than ultimate, and b the major like there's a lot more experienced like people and yeah like they you don't um, want Kai to sit on like the I think the whole time. We don't want to have to. We don't want a world where like Kai has to like yeah, bounce between yeah. floors. Yep. Um, also, Ultimate's gonna have a lot more people. So, like those, like we're gonna have. We have obviously experienced um, Ultimate TOs that have been TOing for even before the game, like throughout Smash Four and Ultimate. But there's gonna be some new volunteer um, Ultimate TOs, and they're gonna be thrown to the. Oh no, they're not. They're not gonna be thrown to the wolves. They're gonna have people giving them sound advice and. Yeah, I mean, there's quite a few them, TOs. That, yeah, they'll and like all the Smash Four ones, so there's been quite a transfer over. Quite a bit for Big Cheese. I mean, that yeah, I guess like end of the day, like if the thing of the tournament, like you don't necessarily need more TO, just like need more people to like run pools and stuff, right? Yeah, pretty so, like, much. Like having that core group of people is good. Exactly. So, then, you need, then you need to do all the small jobs like the streaming and stuff. Mm. 
And, like, it doesn't have to run... Like, the pool doesn't have to run absolutely perfectly, but you want people to, like... At the very least, be able to like see a Smash GG page and be like, okay, you yeah, play you, you play you, yeah, and then doesn't go super over time or whatever. Exactly. So these two always have like pretty good sets to be yeah. honest. They always, um, Catherine definitely wins the majority of them, but they're always quite close. Yeah, we're at, I do remember that recently. Yeah, mm. seems to. Being control. I don't know. I warmed him up. Nice. Give you right. Oh, yep. We're going to see the fruits of this warm up. Uh, it's, all on you. it's all on you now. If yeah. he wins, then. I'd be sad. If he. It'll be, it'll be my, it'll be my fault. Yeah, you'd be happy. You'd be like, yeah, it's all me. If he wins, it's all you. If he loses, then it's all you. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. true. I, I taught him to adapt to my bad habits and then mm -hmm. when Catherine doesn't do them you'd be like what? I don't know man if you see, uh, Catherine definitely has a lot of bad habits oh yeah but they're probably different to mine right? Different, yeah, yeah, yeah you know sometimes they're both they're both like um, hitting that yellow stick down on platforms not quite as much as nah that's, I think that's the one thing I don't do against Mark it's painfully yeah, yeah, obvious when you get up tilted right alright well Catherine's already practicing I think like the, the classic like yeah down smash on a platform is like cool, but Marth is so easy just to up tilt you. Yeah. At least with like other characters that like jump at you. Mm. Like, Marth just kind of sits there and goes huh, up to it. There's not that many characters that can hit you on the battlefield platform grounded, right? Not that many, no. Um, at least of like the current, like, relevant characters. Yeah. I guess like Falcon's short up up air is pretty good. It's technically not great. Yeah. It's um, a little bit risky, but yeah, definitely if you get this yeah. I think it's good. Um, Falcon's not bad. Yeah. I guess the thing with Falcon is that if you get hit, he can get a lot off it. But if you just get like Fox up head once, like yeah, worth. You, you put the mix up of that much on a platform, not which is definitely a, a massive mix up, and then if you get owned, you get owned. But I know. I think Fox up like Fox up if it like actually clean hits and they don't just dumb ACI down on tech for but it, like. You can get generally another one off. Yeah, there. that's true, that's true. Peach is in a really awkward position then. Alright, so the Marth had complete center, complete control of stage, and Peach rolled, and Marth didn't react and got down smashed. And I think for me in this matchup, was one, the biggest thing is like A, getting in, and B, getting off, like getting backstage control. It's, so. It can be um, daunting. It can be. But Catherine's doing. Feels like so far a much better job than Liam. Okay, some really interesting combo extensions. I think yeah, with with like this matchup is like the math should not let you get in, and if you are getting in, you have like control of the, of the game. Yeah, the idea is that like generally Peach needs a turn up to like at least in theory Peach needs a turn up to actually properly get in. Yeah. But right now, <laughs> Catherine's just Doesn't even about a turn up. Yeah, she'll throw turn ups now and then, but. Just kind of bullying the Marth right now. Okay, that yeah actually worked out this time now. Peach is in a really good position. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, bad roll. I would definitely want to go down there, but <laughs> mm. it worked out. So cool. This, um, yeah, I'm not nope, sure if there's a stitch back. Oh. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, combo. Okay. I thought I like I was convinced Catherine was gonna lose that stock solely on like trying to greet for that stitch hit, yeah. but worked out. It always feels really bad when these like funny matchups when you get hit like more than once. <laughs> so like yeah. Especially with your low percent, you can get like forward throw into forward throw or forward throw into just like many forward tilts or whatever. Yes. Yeah, it just feels really bad because you only ever get like one hit. Yeah. For this matchup I think both of them can like generally get quite a like, at least from the zero to, oh, what's, yeah, from like low to low mid percent, you can definitely get quite a bit off. Yeah. Each hit. I guess it's more like a lot of reads, I guess, rather than like straight up combos. Mm. Problem is for Marth at this point, like, unless Marth gets a clean F smash, he's going to need probably, or well, maybe an up, an up to percent as well. Yeah, I think if you're behind, you get desperate, and then that's when Peach is a lot better. Because mm. you're trying to force the issue or whatever. And her hitboxes are going to last way longer than Marth's. Yep. Marth's are great, but they're only, they don't last that long. So, yep. unless your like, spacing is actually on point, and like your timing is on point, then it's easy for Peach just to get in and 
See, every time Catherine's getting a hit, she's just chasing him and not giving him room to breathe. Mm. Which is like exactly what you need to do. Exactly. Even if you can't, even if it's not technically a true combo, you still need to like use that momentum to your advantage and apply pressure. Don't let them space you out. Exactly. You can't just let them reset to neutral each time they get a hit. Ooh. Oh, that she needs up here immediately. Just needs to. Nice. Um, like, in that spot, I think, yeah, you need to up immediately and potentially even tank, like, yeah. a hit or so, and then just DI, like, pull up. Yeah, yeah, up yeah. Um, That's what I would have done, but Catherine was definitely a lot more composed there and um, spaced around. I'm not sure if Marth could have done something, like, say, Ledge. It did seem like she took a long time to do it, but... Yeah, if Marth could have, like, stolen Ledge or something, or even timed to down to it, but it worked out in the end. So yeah. It didn't matter. Um, I think we're going Yoshi's. It's best Oh, yeah, it's a five, yeah. It's a five, yeah. I think we're going Yoshi's. Almost certainly. I would be FD. <laughs> yeah, FD. <laughs> it's a great, it's a great stage in um, the in like high level Marth Beach, but I think we're definitely going Yoshi's. Yeah, that's true. Like, honestly, I think Catherine. Hold the two Catherine is probably more likely to go to FD. It was funny, like in um, you know, like Amada's like the. Uh, Stage list. He puts um, Yoshi's as second best Peach. Yeah, he actually. Yeah. Just because like stuff, stuffing, stuffing Peach King out. Mm. But then like, you get F smash on like the side of the platform and you die. It's it's good. Bad. He's a lot better, like actually properly dying and um, yeah. not dying to F for F smash or yeah. down for F smash. I think like. if you never get like uh, four smash games, the stage becomes like. A lot better. Oh, okay. Nice. Good. Oh, very bad S man. That was a yeah a desperation S man. Yeah, yeah, the desperation ones, and then oh, I'm so terrified of the laugh there. Oh, I'm so surprised that grab didn't hit. Mm. Typical this matchup. Mm. You miss your grab, you get grab. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, did Mark jump? No, he didn't jump. But he jumped. Okay, I thought that he was cool. Cover, yeah. It was really good. Yeah, I thought he killed himself. But All right. I think what you need to do is throw the tunnel a little bit further out, so that if you throw the tunnel a little bit further out, I don't think they can recover. But ah, uh, maybe. He seems to space around it pretty well. Ah, uh, I guess. Classic. You lose a stitch, but I guess in your mind you're like, I closed out the stock. This is, I'm ahead. I didn't need the stitch, but yeah. Good CC. Actually, really, even though the punish, like the follow-up, wasn't that great. Actually, good CC by both of them. To be honest. Yeah, it's really important to get that early damage. Mm. Definitely. Make him scared too. Nice. Ooh, that that feels so good when you yeah. get that. Like, not like edge guarding without just using a turnip. Exactly, yeah, just called out the side B and just immediately float out in there. That's very surprising from Catherine, to be honest. Cause Catherine yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't happen very often, so, like, I guess, like, Lemon's got, like, assume she wouldn't do it. Mm. Um, okay, yeah. You only have, like, I think, one or two frames of vulnerability when you stand and get up, so for Marth to actually hit that S smash, he has to time it, like, oh my god, basically. No. So generally, in general, like stand, stand up shield is yep. pretty safe, but you could never be on that like inside of the platform where you just die. <laughs> I know it's so. Ah, uh, he should have grabbed. I think he spot dodge, but he, like I think he was scared of um, potentially getting down smash up or something. But I think he had time to do spot dodge or something. Have the spacing around the the fair as well. I don't think I don't think Catherine's DI against fair is that great. She yeah, because he's had a few of those like five fairs in a row strings, but mm. hasn't mattered, I guess. Oh, that's not yet. You don't want to be on like side plate directly above Marth. Yeah, it's gonna get that the legend on you. Now let's see. Well, I think it's my cap just wants an air. What F throw? That works. Go out. Uh, there's no reason for her not to like peg turnips, right? Like, for so much time. It's not gonna matter. Oh, but. that was not not the SMS we were looking for, but she goes. She, she should go up and throw one up. I agree. But I will. I think there's a lot she could be doing at this point, but I think <laughs> doesn't need to. Third one, finally. Mm-hmm. 
I like this. Finally, I'm actually commentating a pitch match, match for once. I actually can talk about the matchup. I'm just like, nice. Aha, it's this is cool. It's always awkward when you're commentating a matchup. You have no real just understanding. Just most of them. Funnily enough, it's very easy in that spot to like turn your commentary to radio almost. Like as if like you're not actually commentating like what you think about what's happening. You're just commentating literally what's happening. Yeah, and, and everyone else can see that. So yeah. Yeah, you definitely either gotta be funny or like discuss the game. There's no cool point, like, it's like, haha, he did the move. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Catherine needs to. It's good that Catherine's going out, but I think she's still that early stage where like she's going out no matter what. And yeah. At least in this matchup. There's and no point. Okay, there we go. We saw like uh, Liam immediately grab the turn of the Z dropper. He does that. He's it, no, not many masks. Bother. He's really bad with the turn it. The, nice. prob the problem is that like he used to grab the turnip and try and throw it, like use it. And you're in a really bad advantage state if you do that. Mm. Oh bad DI, but it'd be funny if she died. <laughs> she died. <laughs> Peach died at like 30 yeah. from a it's possible. Just grab a ledge. Okay, now that was well. so greedy but that that was very, yeah. Cool. Challenging the up is really hard. I realize Catherine hasn't done a lot of like. I'm not sure if it's just because there has she hasn't been in spots to do it, but she hasn't done a lot of like Z drop turn up uh, yeah. edge guards grabbing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah that much. seems like that's a real staple. Mm. Oh, it was yeah, actually, it was a good eye. Like she was going for the grab, I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I'm really glad that she's going for that more and not dash tacking. Yeah, yeah. It's really a sign when like a peach is improving when they just don't go for dash tack every. Every yeah, time you dash spot. attack when they're either in the air or retreating, not when they're shielding. Mm. That's when you need to fix that. But because when you like, when you um start grabbing and you're calling them out and shield, then they start getting a bit more hesitant to actually shield. And, and your dash type becomes better. Yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, bad. Like when you just drop shield and he's kind of like let himself get hit by the net, but it's whatever. Catherine's just gonna. I like how she just doesn't pick up a turn up there. I think it doesn't need to apparently. I think in her mind she thought like if she pulls a turn and then he rolls, yeah, she have time to do something. But I think she probably did. I think like, there's no reason just to run back in because you can't challenge this. Okay, you kind of can. You can sort of. You, Marf still is in the greatest spot. You can't like directly challenge because you want to. In general, I think you want to stay outside of like um, Marf's short like ledge hop fair yeah. range immediately like, and work from there, especially at this level where like Marf's. Ledge dash. So Mars' best ledge dash, like best possible ledge dash, I believe, is like plus four um, frames of invincibility, and up tilt is five frames. Okay. So even in an absolute perfect scenario, you're still one frame off before up tilt like comes out. But that's generally enough. So like you see, like at higher levels, Mars will like ledge dash up tilt, and it will. You have to sort of be scared of that space. But Liam's ledge dashes aren't that great, so you can definitely threaten. Plus, like. You can threaten the zone kind of outside of um, ledge hop fair range. Yep. And right now, I think when Liam is ledge dashing, he's probably shielding every time because he's scared of like getting hit. Oh, that's not, oh, that's the. I thought that was terrible until I realised that Catherine was at like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me was... too. Liam has definitely just used the um, the Yoshi's this game to his advantage. Yeah. Then. Hey, that's why you pick it. Yeah. This is the hardest spot to be in. That worked out, out. That worked out, but I think it was that great. Catherine like immediately just jumped and went onto ledge chop, ah, uh, side pipe pipe, but fucked out. So. Oh, doesn't shoot, bro. Got it. I don't. This grab. Oh, it's just just not to grab. Really. Grab. Oh, these, they're both just. Well, more so Liam. Liam's he's fishing. <gasps> that worked. Oh, just grab. Oh, oh my god. It's... Oh. Oh. Oh, that Nair's going to do it, though. Nair's a very strong move if you don't DI. Yep, try to control oh, that. Exactly. But up next, it is myself and Kai. Good luck.
Could have, but would they have been correct? Is that w they would have been. Yes, they would have. They would have been. They would have even. Would have? Should have? Think of the think of the money they could have made. You know, I was gonna get here about 40 minutes earlier than I did, but um, it's a day night cricket match right now. Also, check out my. I sliced my hand. It's actually way more bruised than it looks in this lighting. I mean, you could have known that it was a cricket match on. Yeah. You could have arrived on time if you felt like it. Yeah, but even if I had tried to arrive on time, I would have been half an hour late. You could have accounted for that. Well, I didn't know the cricket was on. <laughs> do you know all the events in Adelaide? Do you know? Do you have a? I know that cricket's on. You do? I did know that. Wow. I'm, uh, did someone tell you? Maybe. Was someone like, watch out, it's going to be a lot of traffic. They didn't say that, but I knew in advance since Thursday. So, so Captain loses semis with Ruben and Ty and Muscat. This is a storied rivalry. Yeah. And it's in, in one of the most epic matchups in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Fox and Falkway, two of the, two of the bombastic the top tier characters. Extremely bombastic, explosive. I mean, that's why we switched to NTSC, right? To create more explosive matches like these. Well, yeah, exactly, and it's working. No, no, gone are the days when we would have Puffs beating Kai and Muscat. Yeah, because you weren't here on time. <laughs> True. Oh, big stock from Kai. Kai's kind of running train on everyone recently, in Huge. my experience. I mean, you you say that, but if you were here earlier, you might have seen Kai versus uh, Catherine, and that was a 3-2 freaking set. Kai's very bad against uh, Beach. So he, he hasn't got, been running a train on everyone. He got a little bit pwned by McLeod as well. That's what you're saying. He, he hasn't been running a train on everybody, just to make that clear. He's been running a train on everyone. <laughs> I think the facts speak for themselves. Oh, he goes for the jump shine. A risky play. What's the risk? The risk is getting shielded and you being in the air and uh, Fox punishing you. There you go. Which eventually happened as a direct result of the jump shine. Probably. I mean, indirectly. It led to it, but it wasn't like. It set in motion cause and a chain effect. of events. No, it's like the butterfly effect, you know? Yeah, but it wasn't like I hit you with a hammer and you go out, you know? Tom well, that you know, Tom, you hits, be, Tom hits Jerry with a hammer. You apply force to the hammer. Jerry dies. Or you 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 activate a muscle in your arm, which causes your muscle to contract, which cause, and you're also holding a hammer. I mean, that's not really the butterfly effect, though. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, it's, more like it's not so black and white. You didn't know. <laughs> it, no, it's more like it's more like you didn't know about cricket, so you arrive late, so you don't enter the tournament, so you, so the matchup works out differently. So we get Kai versus. Uh, Catherine, it was and always it goes, gonna it be becomes this way. close, and you weren't there, so you thought he was running a train. Everyone, it was, That's the it was always going to be this way. It's not <laughs> like anything I did could have been different, you know. <laughs> it's uh, determinism. All right, it's, you can still trace that line of effects, whether or not it could have been different. I can't chase anything. I'm destined and doomed to do everything that I was always going to do. Wow. I yeah, but you can still trace it. As I said, it's a trace. Okay, trace. I think it's a chase. No, you can still trace it. All right. Oh, he should have wave landed back and then done it back there. That would have been cool. Yeah. Instead, he got shined like a... Like, like a the, guy who like, didn't wave land back. Like the mid-level player he is. Right. Oh, no. But it's hard to always do the right thing in melee. Not even the best players do. Like, mm. you see great players like Muscat. Ooh, I don't know, that six. tech looked pretty high level. I don't know. I said yeah, to wait but from he's dead. <laughs> oh, so smart. So smart. So Patience. smart. I think a, a more impatient player might have not recognized the situation and let him get away with that. You would have let him get away with that. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know until I get into that situation. My Fox would have just done a better edge guard to begin with, to be honest. Oh. 
Wow, really Damn. good. That was kind of a, you know, SDI mix-up. Yeah, the main stage jit is over here. Made him think he was going to hit him, and then didn't, and then messed up the DI. Yes. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Absolutely kicked! Didn't go nowhere, though. Oh, my. I know. He just kicked him up into the ground. You know, it's <laughs> not about how hard you kick. It's about how hard you can get kicked and stay on the ground and then get up and hit the blade <laughs> And then, yeah, instantly attack a giant. Exactly. That's true. In a way. Ooh. Marilyn Monroe was right. The free If smash. you can't handle getting hit at 60%, you, you know shouldn't be in show <laughs> Can't can't take a laser and dash back. You should not be playing against Falco. True that, fam. Wow. Instead of going getting a shine and getting a big combo, he just drops it. Oh, you see that read though? The standing laser. Yeah, the disrespect. He's like, I know you're going there. I'm just gonna stop you. Stop you in tracks. Tack on a bit of a bit of a tax. Exactly. A movement tax. The hardest of reads. And uh, let you go on your way. That was a hard read, because he would have got punished if uh, not for his yeah. intelligence and foresight. And then again, he was already destined to do it, so is it really a read? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a reaction to the situation you're in. It's just his fucking brain chemicals. Yeah. Can you really take credit for that? Oh, no. it's, just his, it's just his brain doing it. He was an auto player. <laughs> exactly. Oh! Wow. That was Should've nice. Should have or something. That was super nice, though. Yeah, he just kept holding that ledge. The thing is, yeah. Stalker doesn't really have anything to... He didn't think he was going to get there. I think he thought he was going to get to the ledge first. Maybe he could have done that uh, up B where you up B right next to the ledge, and then if they try to shine you, you just grab the ledge, and if they don't, you eventually burn them. But it's better with Fox and Falco. Yeah. True. Yeah, that's it's done, good. Uh, oh. It's starting to cook, but he gets shoved off. Yeah, just one wrong move, and your combo's over. That's life. That's the thing about combos. You gotta do the right move over and over. Or you can just do any one of like five right moves. And it's all RNG. You just have to hope your brain chooses the correct move. <laughs> it's not RNG. There's no randomness. There's literally no randomness. It's the opposite of RNG. You just have to sit there and hope. You don't have to hope anything. You just have to know. You just have to have faith. But what you know is determined already. How can you, you can't, you can't do anything about it. Tell you what Kai knew, that Musket was going to shield right there and then DI in and get hit by that shine bear. Well, he knew that was going to work. Yeah. It was always going to work. Start coming a mile away. From the Big Bang you can see that. That poke. That's a beautiful poke. That's high level poke right there. Yeah. Impressive. Impressive. Like, uh, like uh, the golden age of Facebook, that poke. Oh, it really uh, <laughs> dug deep for that reference. <laughs> Only the OGs will know that one. <laughs> they will. Only you and I. Only boomers like us. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Caleb's, Caleb thinks you are, I'm, I'm more of a beamer, boomer than you are because I prefer Farm Union Ice Coffee to Bubble Tea. Yeah, that's pretty boomer. Like, he was he was like legit in shock. And he was like, what the hell? You're such a boomer. And then, like... And then he asked McLeod, because both him and Catherine preferred bubble tea. And then he asked McLeod, and McLeod's like, yeah, I prefer uh, uh, Farmers Union Ice Coffee. And he's like, what the hell? There's, you're everywhere. These boomers are everywhere. I'm more of a boomer than a, than a boomer. Whereas you're just a straight boomer. I guess. Just a freaking young zoomer. I don't think it's a youth thing. I think it's a nerd thing. Maybe. It's just wild. Japanese culture is really has some stuff. It's taking yeah. over the... Oh, he jumped! They, oh, oh he could, an you gotta kill him there. You should have uh, shined and then killed him. Free. Oh, I hate to see it. Do you? Maybe you love to see it. Depends if you're a Kai fan or a Musket fan, doesn't it? Really. Alright, if you're a Kai fan, put up your I'll Kai's. Be, oh, shine, I'll be there. Oh. Oh, yeah. Put up your Kai's of sad boys in chat if you're a Kai fan. And put up your, uh, I don't know. Kai doing some risky uh, down there though. If he was MC or Mango even, he would do like a little fade back down there. Right, but alas, and then be ready to full punish. But instead he did a full commit down there, shielded, and then Musket took ages to punish. He doesn't have their brain. He doesn't have their instincts, you know. Their fast game All right. play. You know, we were sitting here mouthing off and all of a sudden Musket's up 2-0. Maybe Musket's the one who's running trains. Maybe. Musket, the conductor of... Uh, Conductor of As a, oh, what a wave left. Smart. All aboard. Absolutely trying to crash cancel there. 
Better get on your musket hype train now before it leaves the station. Exactly. <laughs> you better. Ooh. This tram is about to leave the station. He had so long to hit him, and he just decided, like, I'm just going to dash a little bit. Oh, uh, you got to... He tried to up build, obviously. Oh, 100%. Oh, oh, Muskets looking good. He has nice little know, shampooed is he, hair. Is he, or did Kai just miss a dash back? No, I'm talking about his it. physical appearance. Oh, okay. I'm talking about I mean, the, the South Australian Smash glow up that I've observed in all right. a number of. Now, here's, here's the real. Forget the bubble tea. Here's the real decision. Do you prefer long or short hair, Muskets? <laughs> well, I, I, I'm. I've uh, That's a real I've a retro. Residual. You're a real boomer if you prefer. I prefer the old musket when he had long hair. That's I think the new musket opinion. is objectively better, but I have a lot of fondness for the old musket. Wizard musket. I do miss the green jacket. He never liked the green jacket, even though it was like a solid. It was a power play. It was a uh, yeah. It was good. I like Kai with the chain. Oh, he was yeah. like a, a rap star, you know. He's, no, he's like Dante actually. He's got the the, the amulet of power. Yeah, like his a neck. priest. Like one of those rappers who's like emulating the church. Yeah, Dante Priest. Same thing these days. What you're saying is he's a religious scholar. Yeah. He looks like uh, the creepy guy in uh, the Da Vinci Code, except with ah. more hair. But you know. Bit a bit of a better stylist. Yeah. A bit more swag. That guy's dope, actually. Can't say I've ever met him. Uh. You are lost. <laughs> okay, <boomer. laughs> yeah, before you isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's gotta feel bad if you're a Kai fan. Man, Kai really seems to have to Saying, I don't fear your chain grabs. I have epic combos. I mean, he was thinking he's down on the set, he's gotta, he's gotta bust out the secret weapon. He's gotta bloody dig deep, he's gotta mount the climb. Yeah. Nice back here. Still lit. Oh my god, Musket timed it perfectly. He was actually still on the ledge. Unbelievable. He was like, you can't have this ledge. Nerf this. For point one more second, you're allowed on the ledge. Kai said, oh. I've got it, I've got it reserved. Exactly. Right. Until 7.30. What's the time now? Uh, 7.30. Well, oh. he's overstayed his reservation. But uh, uh, Oh, he gets grabbed. He's checking his He's not happy about this. He's off stage. He can still make. Oh my! In. Absolutely kicked, sliced, if you will. <laughs> I mean, but it was a—it's like a blunt object. Yeah, you can get sliced with a blunt object. That's true, actually. Where's I my camera? You can get you can get like cut up. I sliced my hand with a blunt object. Oh, what was it? Uh, the ground. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, you can get a. I know it's like if you box without gloves, you can like cut people's faces. I don't know the science behind it, but it's, you know. Look at this. Without the a couple gloves, of gamers so. here. A couple of boomers here. Lemons? Uh, what's your Twitter? Uh, at Lemons272, something like that. You, you don't, I don't know. What's your, what's, your rate, what's your rating on my Twitter? My rating of you? I don't really it? follow it. <laughs> do you know what's funny? <laughs> my, technically you know you my do. housemate? Have you met him? Uh, which one? Uh, Lewin, the, the new one. <laughs> That guy whose name no, isn't actually no, no, Lewin. No, not Junior, not Junior. <laughs> no, 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 the game, the, the, I don't know. I Lewin's remember, I name is Lewin. I got introduced to him, and uh, I don't know if you, I don't know. Lewin, that doesn't seem like a real name. You did say that. That was the yeah. first thing you said to him. I don't think I said exactly His Twitter that, is but. like the epitome of screaming into the void, because he has no followers. Like, he has like three followers. Nobody likes anything he posts. Like, he has quite a social media reach on YouTube, for instance, but um, oh, really? what his Twitter do? is really funny, because he'll post shit like... Oh, I just bought Premiere Pro. This is the most frustrating shit ever. I just wasted four hours of my life. I'm about to fucking, like, break my keyboard. And it was just zero likes. I'll see it. I'm like, mm, I'm not going to like that. <laughs> Man, it's rough. This is last night. What, what I, like, he... heard, like, banging on a keyboard at, like, 11 p.m. when I was trying to sleep. And I was like, what the fuck is happening? It woke me up. So I, like, just... Check Twitter? Because it's, uh, you know, millennials. Uh, Isn't or... he, like, your age? Yeah, I'm a millennial. I'm saying, because I'm oh, a millennial, right. I went to social media. Mm. And he was there. And I looked at my Twitter, and it was Lewin five minutes ago. <laughs> so <laughs> Premier Pro is a piece of shit. <laughs> what, does he, what does he do on YouTube, then? I mean, I not, to, just, not to shill too hard for this some, guy. Just uh, some content. Just some stuff. Check it out, if you can find it. You won't be able to find it based on anything that I've said. Hunt for it. But I have linked it in one of the chats. Not, not to you. 
in like a hug chat many many months ago. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. A chat that you are not a member of. All right, here we go. Lose is fine. Semis. Lose is semis. We've got Catherine versus uh, Mr. Mr. Nang's there. Mr. Ruben. The Nang man. This the has Nangster. been tight in the past. Yeah, it has. I've seen Ruben almost lose this. Right. Or and Catherine now, almost win, I should say. Well, now he's playing Falcon, so it's a bit of a different story. Catherine's a Falcon Slayer, though. Mm, I mean, she she's beaten. I mean, she's beaten Caleb a lot, it's but the king he's of not Caleb. the same as Falcon himself. But Ruben, uh, his Falcon is uh, I don't like it. No. He just does big nair bombs across the stage. Oh, that's the best thing. Let me hit you. Hey, uh, I'm over here. Let me use my run speed. I'm fast. <laughs> that's what he does. Please crash cancel down smash me. That's what he says. Bruh. That's what I. I mean. I did that and it works okay. Some of the, it works okay when it works. You know? That's true. Like, I think we can all attest to that. Alright, it's going into it. So these are two of the absolute gamers of South Australia. Yeah? If you will. You think they game harder than anybody else? Uh, not as hard as me. Oh, what a, what a oh, turnip pull. That was a bold turnip pull. Turnip pull. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> I like that. Gonna land on the platform there, like a double jump land. She tricked me. I think this is gonna be one of those sets that's very uh, depends on Ruben's punish game. Yeah. Yeah. She's certainly got the punish down. In this she character. gets the nice little kills because I don't think Kath has the uh, the little air dodges and stuff that you kind of need against Falcon. But I think Ruben doesn't really have the character control yet to get the perfectly optimal. To make her have to know that. Down oh, smash. Oh, he just grabbed. She grabbed. Smart. What was smart about it? I thought the down, the down smash would send the other way. Yeah, but he shielded. <laughs> yeah, but down smash beats shield. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Sometimes. Too many times. It beats your shield. It definitely it beats does. Mas oh, wow. It, you hate whoa. to see it. It goes for a bold option. I don't know if that hitbox is quite big enough. Tries to need a little circle in the middle yeah. of the battlefield. Tries to innovate right before our eyes. Yeah. Not every innovation comes with success. Yeah, Peach cannot down air Falcon. That's uh, one thing about this matchup. Right. Most characters Peach can come down with like some kind of timing variant with a down air, and uh, it works. Down smash. Oh. This one's too big. My Peach brain just only sees down smash opportunities. It's because I've played against Peach with so many characters, and I, the only thing I remember is every time I got down smashed. It's rough. What about dash attack? You don't remember that? Nah, forget about it. Ruben doesn't yeah. remember. He's even shielding. Bro, then she just grabbed you. No, but it takes it, it takes us so much longer to get over there and grab you. Hmm. Maybe you should take notes for your Falcon. Oh uh, my. Good okay. edge, my Falcon doesn't really operate off notes. It just kind of operates off the heart, you know? Speaking of the heart, Ruben is playing with uh, the brain right now. The brain? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, I like that. Instant up there. Insta. Is there really a difference? Brain and the heart. Uh, yeah, a little part bit. Of, they're all part of one apparatus. apparatus? No, the heart is one serves to the brain. Mm. Oh, that might not be true. That's like, there's, there's feedback back and forth, you know? Boom. Absolutely edge guarded. True. But, she's in trouble. How she find a way down. down. How's she oh, gonna do it? Shit. She did it. I like that. See, my piece down smashes on the top platform there. Trades. Uh, there and, you uh, go. Yeah. There was the theory in action she tried down airing, you just clean beat it. Oh, clever. Smart. Clever. Is that, is that manga? You know when clever. manga did that shine and then grabbed the ledge? Uh, maybe. I don't, I don't remember oh every shine. Oh my, insane done. down smash. This is why you gotta let it rip sometimes. Bruh. She literally stood underneath Ruben's stump and down smashed, and it won. It didn't even trade. What was she going for? She shielded the first hit of Nair and then tried to do something before the second it came out. Uh, she probably was not expecting it now. You can't react to like which move comes out a lot of the time. I mean, maybe you can't. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Wait. Well, I'm pretty old. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. so smart. That oh was my. Super smart. <laughs> what an amazing get up attack. A billion million IQ. It's actually like the perfect, perfect option. Situation. Get up that was. What a punish. Sorry? Whatever. Whatever. I mean, maybe if she, like, let her <laughs> legs instant float aerial, and, like, that would have been a lot harder to do. No. Anyway, Ruben takes it with a clean knee. He goes, 
Boom. Win the name. Boom, Shakalaka. Biggity, boom. Biggity Me bumps. Out of the room. Take that. That's what he said. Take that, dummy. Yeah, get lost, kid. <laughs> he said. Beat it, kid. <laughs> oh, what a dash deck. I like that. I ain't got time to play with you. I feel like uh, the counter to like Ruben's somewhat lack of uh, like control of the type of Falcon is uh, having big annoying hitboxes out with Peach. She's got a few of those. Probably pull it out. Because Ruben's style of movement with Samus is obviously very different. Oh, I, I was wrong. The down air worked. Oh, insane spacing. Nuts. All right. There you go. Plenty of time. Yeah. That's a hot edge guard. Wow, what a shield. Runs up all the way in shields. And Ruben what are you kinda do? misses with the aerial. Mr. Satin, can we go out and drop him? Yeah. Combo break it? Nope. I'll be dying to that. I don't know. Wow, that's a very annoying for Cat. Because she like missed her falling aerial and it would have connected. It's a lot of damage that she's uh, taken. Quite big, a bit. Big damage. Or should I say big jamage? Big. Shout out to Jamage. Bruh. <laughs> he hasn't been the same since he played Musket. <laughs> He's just, yeah, he hasn't. There's one thing that was said from that set, though, is that it was bullshit. That's for damn sure. Has there ever been a set Musket's been in that wasn't bullshit? Are you Facebook friends with Jamage? No. Uh, I see him post a meme once in a while. So it's alright. Hmm. I have other people for that. <laughs> yeah. You can never have too many memes there. And I feel like Jamage posted diff memes from a different kind of sphere than yeah. most people. Yeah, well, give me an example. No, you don't have any on hand. Yeah, that makes sense. You just wow. know he does it. Get absolutely peached with that there. Going for some reeds doesn't pay off. Oh, I like that. Catches. Ruben before the uh, platform. Ruben only like just respawned, and now he's at 80%. I know, it's how quickly he can turn. It's how quickly this game can go. Oh my god, I thought he was. I thought he you was know, the one. This is a very volatile lead. matchup. Right, by the way. An explosive game. <laughs> yes. I love mashing A. Cash has got a lot of mileage out of mashing A in yeah. this. Oh. Big green button. Just hit it and go. Crazy Nair attempt. I don't know what that would have been. You just gonna sit there and shield? Get out. Of and here. hold away as well. Yeah. Oh! Ah, 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 no! Ah, oh, that's it. This game's over. No, there's no grab there. RJ kills Oh, him. big opportunity. That was like reminiscent of that stock uh, SCJ got against some Falco. Where he kind of like almost edge cancelled. Dude, he's starting to cook. He's he's uh, boiling up the, the fryer. He's sticking the keys in the gas. He's, the ignition is uh, its chugging, but it's, uh, it's getting there. It's warming up. He's pouring in the coke. Oh, oh what a combo. Set it up beforehand. Oh! How oh, did that happen? Absolutely blended. <laughs> she couldn't have known that it was going to hit that way. Yeah, but it would hit both ways. Yeah, I guess. Maybe. That's such a weird. I don't have ever seen spacing. a hit once like that and go the other way. That was disgusting, actually. That that's a real DI mix-up. Would the move be better or worse if it just hit outwards? Do you think? Probably worse because it wouldn't blend. Yeah. I should mean it also blended and then somehow went out at the end. Ah, oh, just uh, shield grab. Oh, oh that's oh. it. That's it. Oh, that's not it. Yeah. You see Falcon players do that. Maybe it's just because I see Caleb do it a lot, where they like jump out and like try to eat with an arrow, then it misses and they double jump back to stage, and it's like they usually get away with it, but it seems so risky. Like if they just get hit out of that situation, it's like they're probably dead. I would have liked to see Kath run up grab there in that tech chase situation where she knew she was late. I think because Ruben's just holding shield, right? Because mm. when Kath's far away, she doesn't really go for run up grabs. They're kind of hard to commit to. Oh my. Ooh. Is he really going to do this? Oh, down there that. You got to down there that. Nair doesn't do anything. Nair is just like uh, putting himself in a vulnerable spot. Move. Ready for it. Very 
through. Yeah. I reckon you can afford to get next to Pummel there. Or two. Like, especially when you know they're gonna. Wow, that was the bullshit. spacing. The spacing on that. He uses her grab to yeah. evade deftly Falcon's grab. That was elegant. Very smart. Big brain. Uh, yeah. Big. I was waiting for the tent to come down, and but I guess I get blocked. Oh, that's scary. Nice timing. And that is not dead. Not dead, but in a bit of trouble. Yeah, you can kind of sometimes bear Falcon on the way down. You just kind of dare him. Yeah, sometimes Peach just gets these hits and it's like... Oh, forward air. Nice, I like that. Yeah, you're going for the what poke. What a wait. You're going for the poke just like it's uh, Facebook. So I could just, ask <laughs> just for those of you who weren't here half an hour ago when I made that same joke. Yeah. <laughs> And for those of you who were here, it's a bit of a callback. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if we still do these nowadays. It definitely works on multiple levels, I'll say that much. Yeah. Y'all uh, carrying joke. Good man choice. Bit scary, I kind of thought he might be able to get around that. Yeah. Oh, yes! All the trades! Okay, she does go for the grab. And again it would have worked. Using it. No, she's again used it to whiff his grab. What this is genius. exactly the situation. Catherine's showing great adaptation. Oh. Unless she's just listening to me. Maybe. <laughs> she's got a direct line. Yeah. Again, she could be wearing anything. Yeah, she's she could doing be wearing it anything under those beanies. She knows Ruben's going to shield on the get up situation. So. She's that was just driving over and over again. She can almost create like a super full combo by bouncing off the tree. Let's go, Cass. Well, Cass, too good. Where's away the, the dot face? This is not a good spot for Gas to be in. Okay. We gotta take that. How's he gonna capitalize on this? He's gonna down smash any second uh, now. Wow, this is some bullshit that's happening. Oh my, Dude. there it is. Catches the shield drop. <laughs> there it is. Why are you shield dropping, you dummy? Yep, smart. Yeah. She, he's getting absolutely grabbed out of his brain right now. He definitely is. Needs to start figuring this out. Almost so okay. ready for it. Goes for the dash back that time. Cass got Whoa. so much mileage off that. A homie stuck that there. late in. What a guy. Doesn't want to show too much of his hand, but that's why he goes into the next game. No, he always keeps his hand hidden. Yeah. He's like uh, a. Like uh, a Rot player. Rottweilers who are trained to guard people hate him because he's never showing his hands. <laughs> like who is this guy? I can't get a can't get a beat on him. Yeah, well, he could be holding anything. He's a he's an oh. Im immediate threat to my owner. That's what they're saying. Yeah. It's right there. His hands are actually filled with yeah. like. And nice they never things. they do they never get to smell his hands, so they never get to recognize him. Yeah. Okay. Good. It's the tech. Catherine knows that Ruben's going for that like double coverage and just kind of drifts underneath mm. and kills him. Catherine oh. with some nice little yeah, adaptations. Hate to I gotta see say. That one I mean, it is Ruben going for big call-out edge guards, but um, man, he really does. Whoa. Wow, knee grab! I like that. That's that bullshit. hurts. That, that is... hurts. That was some nuts, nutty shit. Just beating him out. Oh, Catch good job! job. He hey, rolls away, classic lemons fashion. He's obviously picked up some tricks from your Falcon. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing with them, but... Uh, Catherine could be holding down and crouch and like CC down smashing a lot of these situations where Ruben's coming down. He's like always coming down with an aerial and Cat's always trying to like beat it with something. Oh, what a read. Where are you, where are you moving to, Ruben? Some air control right there. I feel like my commentary's been quite biased, actually. Ruben, what adaptations? I don't even... I'm not even watching yeah. Ruben. But huge knee. Huge knee number two. No tech. Can we get a third one? He's looking that's for a, it. He can steal a, one. He oh, can grab one. Yeah. There you go. It's a winky base, not a stitch. He can trans yeah, still another one. You hate to see it. Cat back would probably make pretty good use of those. Wow, that just knocks speed. down at zero, huh? Yeah, nuts. Base knockback back super high. Yeah, Ruben like full hopping out of the corner. 
thought it was going to go for some, like, B-move Bonanza type situation. Boom. Big. Back air. Nice back air. Superb. Right. That's a hard spot. Kind of have to guess what I think going to end up. grabs from behind. Beautiful. Oh, down there, please. I don't know why the net is. I like that back. Back. That was, that was pretty nice. That's a very good dash dance. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's scary. Each, each and Catherine's doing a very good job of controlling space. I think. That's kind of Peach in a nutshell there. Yeah. Like, she's got a zone and it's very difficult to contest. Is that a stitch? Not anymore. Uh, Catch him in his invincibility. Yeah, he's not making that one. This is that risky kind of double jump evasion. Which, okay. I mean, if you get hit at 140, you're probably dead regardless of whether you have a jump. Oh, he's going for some more down air reads. He yeah. really feels like and he needs to take rolling risks. rolling a lot of wake up there. Oh, she almost did the, she almost did the take. She did the double jump land, but messed up the grab. Catherine's always been ready for the um, roll on wake up as well. Oh, she did double jump land again. Like there, she like realized she was late and was just ready for the roll. Oh, go through a dash into the corner there. Oh, oh my, that's a big swing. She what a choice, not, actually. She was not ready for that. That's one of those times of where you have to put it all on the line. You just gotta go for something that might kill if they if they don't play optimally, you know? Because otherwise, it's like Peach is living for a long time. It's a whole thing. This Falcon guy, he kind of kills pretty early. Yeah, like 40%, like we just saw. Oh, good good coverage. Oh, he's... I thought he was done for, but Captain Falcon... Oh, she had the read, but like doesn't get frame. the uh, punish. Yeah, he's gonna make the ledge. But... Yeah, good choice. Yeah. Well played, Cass. Probably capitalized mostly on Ruben's shielding later in the set, which she was... Yeah. Having trouble with earlier in the set, obviously noticed. And uh, well, I'll just grab this idiot. Grabs. Grab this buffoon. This bumbling, bumbling blackguard. Yeah, it's a tough one. Uh, obviously, Ruben's main Samus. Is uh, dead to the, him. the sets tend to go very differently. Um, they, they've been close in the past, but um, Ruben trying to pick up a secondary or two for I, I don't know if he's fun gonna slash strategic purposes. Maybe I don't know if he's actually going to play Samus anymore. I heard from a source, I don't remember who it was, that he just doesn't find find it fun anymore to play Samus. So Damn. He might just be trying to play this character the full time. I don't. I just. I said I don't remember. It's probably like Musk or something. Maybe he can confirm. You see Caleb do a yawn just then. That was nice. Bro. <laughs> How are you going to be yawning with this kind of exciting match coming up? Yeah, it's kind of riveting. It's kind of this could go I'm either way. I'm glued to my seat, but I'm also hovering above my seat you're in excitement. You're contractually <laughs> obligated to be in that seat, otherwise you won't get paid. Uh, yeah, exactly. How big, big. No, I'm glued is. to the seat because I, I don't want to leave. But I'm on the edge of my seat. The tension in the air is just it's, palpable. It's too thick. It's palpable. It's too thick to move <laughs> it's through. It's palpable. <laughs> Stuck. It's like a, it's like when you're on the gravitron. It's like it's so strong. We're being pressed into the seats. Yeah. Like that. The well, gravity the, of the they're situation. Fight, yeah, their fighting is. spirit. <laughs> their fighting spirit is too powerful. That's true. I I underestimated the gravity of the situation when I. Oh, he just musket won't play me. Why is that? He he won't he won't message me. He refuses to initiate <laughs> contact. You know. <laughs> Have you tried initiating contact yourself? Uh, every time in the last four years, yes. Bruh. <laughs> How's he gonna do you like that? I know. You initiate it every time, and not once has he returned the favor. Just a little reciprocity would be appreciated. I think Musket, I don't know, maybe Musket's trying to catch me slipping. He's trying to catch me a little bit out of practice. Not catch yeah. you napping. Slicing, in fact. Oh, what a coverage. That was good. Oh, like that's covering just Covering most things there. I like that from Kai. Oh, patient holding the shield. Looking for opportunities. Gotta, gotta attack something there. Bold! Oh, my. That was a so bold smart. move, dude. I mean, it's like you said, sometimes you just gotta put the chips in line, go for something that might kill if your opponent's not playing optimally, yeah, and exactly. take your chances. Kai, you a know, calculated risk, for sure. 
I mean, he saw, Kath he saw Catherine die in the same way. He's like, all right. So you're not going to media cancel, huh? He said. And then she adapted, and he's like, <laughs> mind blown, Jesus. Exactly, that's so the musket way. You can't catch him with the same thing multiple times. You see that. Unless you did. Unless it happens. Well, I was a bit scared there. He was just going to jump into a down smash. Racking it up. <laughs> Scary Falca, he spawns a death percent. And now he's at 88%. Oh, so no, I think that's an urban myth. Death plus. New game plus. Ooh, clean. Cover the roll though, because Valka has shine. Yeah, she was almost looking for it, but she wasn't quite clean enough. She wasn't fighting it, I'll tell you that much. Oh no! I hate to see it. If you're Kath. Hate to see that which if you're okay. We are not. We are in, neither of us are indeed Kath. We love to see it then. But we're indifferent to seeing it. Well, we we it did see it, and we, let's not ascribe value to what we've seen. Well, let's not let the viewer decide. It. Exactly. It's really it's your own individual journey that's. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to play my play for now on. All right, <laughs> I'm sick of opinions. What are they really at the end of the day? You know, it's one guy's bloody yeah. opinion. That's Who really what I look what for. Enjoy? Is oh, somebody nice. just telling me the oh, names that's of moves. Telling me the name. You're applying values to it right now. What are you doing? I wish Cass went down there decide. because it would have got the edge done. What are these opinions you're starting out? No, I'm. I'm I was ready to hear just just the names of the moves being performed. And you've let me down. Uh, short hop, blazer, short hop, blazer. Oh, you missed a shine, bro. You missed a shine, bro. Sorry, bro. What are we paying you for? Uh, I don't know. It's all broken down. <laughs> up tilt, very good back oh, air, stream. very good can I get a Can I get a stream overlay? Can I get a pop? Oh my, imagine running this shambles of a stream. Jack. <laughs> I can't imagine it myself. <laughs> Oh, jumped into that. Do you know what is exciting? Because uh, you know Cheese Fest happened in October, and we all miss it. But we so this, soon after Cheese Fest get to experience sort of Cheese Fest thing? too. <laughs> oh, what an angle! Had it covered there. <laughs> so Jack weighing in that Cheese Fest was across the road from Vegan Fest, which is actually a bit funny. Could have seen two crowds just sort of cross the road and walk at each other with cheeses and various vegan food in hand. Yeah, Jack's saying that'd be a food fight, but I think <laughs> I feel like that's like not okay to throw cheese at vegans. <laughs> I mean, you could say that. It's 20 bloody 19, all right. You cannot throw cheese at vegans. Yeah, you missed the boat. It's 2018 or nothing. <laughs> so that's a real 2017 oh, a face. Type of situation. That's a danger. He's gonna get rid of that. <gasps> Oh big brain my. play, he even steals it for himself. The smartest what a brain. swing, the what a swing. smartest brain and big, big nervous system play. Huge yeah. nervous system. Just reaction, just, just raw bloody he's instinct, really, isn't it? He was holding on to that. He was like, what am I going to do with this? He was scheming. What am I going to do? But do you remember Carlos Matos from BitConnect? Uh, no, yeah, but I'll say my, yes. <laughs> my wife doesn't believe in me. Bitcoin I say, what am I going to do? You know, it's the whole thing. Is he the guy who says Bitcoin? <laughs> he is. I don't even know. Oh, oh. big connect with that down. Oh, going. genius and intelligent, but doesn't get the edge guard because of uh, guys big big brain. I was gonna say because of bullshit, but yeah, that works. <laughs> that was big brain to side beat. What a wait! But that was a good dash dance. Those are the dash dances that players don't do, where they like do a really long dash and then a wait. The other guy's like, oh, he's gonna dash it, try to get to the center. No. Yeah, Cass really has that kind of old school vibe of like just playing a lot and getting better by playing. Right, pal, pal, that wouldn't happen. Yeah, this is fucked. That's fucked up. Oh, pal is not your pal, all right? I hate your, I hate your pal, NTSC. Nice. Can't act out a shield against the Nair, and that's gonna do it. Do nothing. It's gonna absolutely clean out game two. Unblockable. Unblockable. 
This is fun. Peach assigning her own sort of opinions to the match. Declaring to be fun. I don't know yeah. if we all feel the same. Yeah, fun isn't really a thing that exists, is it? It's just, it's just not real. It's just chemicals. It's just chemicals in the brain. It's just society. Uh, it's all that shit. I really feel that, dude. <laughs> dude, that is actually really quite speaking deep. speaking to me. <laughs> now you speak my language. So smart. Oh! That was a big call out. Yeah, it was kind of like, I don't know that would have worked on any other uh, way of kind of events. But Catherine, she knew. Oh, that, the headphone sound of that wow. back throw was so That booming. was, it was someone, like. Someone called that luck, but that was just intelligent on Kai's half, Kai's half to end up on the other side when you get hit out of the side Smart and intelligent. Like how it was smart for that to reverse. Yeah, Kai has a lot of tricks, you know. He's a seasoned veteran of the game, of the sport, if you will. I don't know if we're uh, allowed to call it that. Uh, bro, it's 2019. Cops, my girls. Honestly, this is one of the three big sporting events happening in Adelaide right now. There's the cricket, there's... Evac? This? <laughs> and, uh, there's probably another thing. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> there's, the, there's the cheese fest. Part no, that three. was that was uh, vegan fest part two. Hopefully, there's you know some political demonstration. Same thing. That's always a risky double jump pressure to go to a start though, where you shine that shield and jump up. The speech kind of up at you, especially if she's a low percent and trades with uh, down air. That's bad news bears, or should I say, up airs? You as you sorry. should say that. Shout outs to bus. Go down there, please. No, don't go down there. It's scary. She'd never be going down there. Don't go down there. She'd be staying up there. Go down there. That's where you go to when you die. That's the stage. You don't want to go there. You know that song, uh, Rainbow Road? Uh, the I know. You go when you die. Is it? Is it the? <laughs> is it based on the Mario Kart? Yeah, song? it is. It's, uh, yeah, it's the classic YouTube. For oh, yeah. boomers will will remember. Got yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a boom. <laughs> Man, I'm just thinking Left 4 Dead was truly ahead of its time. It's called a road, it's called a rainbow road. It is the road that you go. Oh, so it literally is based on the when rainbow road. you die, yeah. <laughs> if you were old enough, you would know it. But instead, you're I mean, just I, the young millennials. I know I knew the tune. <laughs> I, did, I don't think I know the, the lines. Yeah, Do you know millennials know are old now? Yeah, I don't know if I technically am or not. You are. You're 96, right? Yeah, I'm like on the I'm on the borderline. Yeah, you're millennial. I'm on the edge. You're with a, you. You're a millennial Akka boomer. Akka. No, the boomer is like further down the line. No, millennial is the new boomer. I guess. In the age of the internet, you can't be older than 23. Good thing I'm not. Do you even have a TikTok? Have you even ticked a TikTok in your life? No, I have, have you not. ever seen a TikTok? I have not. I've seen them. I don't. They're foreign to me. You dab? If you don't dab, then don't even talk to me. I have dabbed <laughs> once in my life. Yeah, but you I didn't remember. enjoy it. No. If you don't uh, enjoy it, it dabbing. was upon request. And I thought, well, okay. Nice back air. I was listening to Triple J. Yeah. And they were recapping the Arias or something. Were they dabbing? And they were talking street? about how they saw Jimmy Barnes and he was dancing. And then he taught them how to do the Fortnite dances. Oh my god. Which is <laughs> very dope. That's pretty cringe, bro. No, it's pretty epic. <laughs> No, I don't use that term <laughs> lightly. I think that is pretty cringe. Oh, my insane oh, movement. Man. Speaking of epic, that, was that movement. movement was epic. That was Is that Bobby Big Balls? No, it's Kaiser. Happy Kaiser. Follow him on Twitter. Yeah. Unfollow him. Follow me on Twitter. Wait a minute. <laughs> something's, something's off here. <laughs> Tune into his stream for more action-packed segments like this. Tune into my stream. I don't have one yet. You know, when you get one, we'll be talking. Oh, oh the you brain! Your the brain on this man! You bloody well despise seeing it. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, that was pretty epic. Dude, oh. I can just imagine Falco getting up to the ledge after that and doing a Fortnite dance. That, like, breaking straight that's into That's a dab-worthy recovery, for sure. Because most yeah. times when you hit them on the ledge like that, you get battlefielded. Yeah. That was actually the absolutely worst situation that could have happened. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, absolutely. Covering something there. Oh, 
for a you, moment there, I thought, is he going to go for the side beat dunk? You know how Luigi, like, preempted the dab and, like, Nintendo in general? <laughs> yeah, like Falco and Falcon. Yeah. Do you think, like, do you think that's the coincidence, or do you think the dab was directly influenced by Nintendo? Because there are a lot of dabs. I don't even actually the... truly know where it came from. It was, like, a dance move or something? It was in, like, a rap video. I remember Kai showing me in, like, 2014, 15. God. He was like, yeah, hit, hit the dab, man. I was like... Is that some kind of joke he, reference? He and was, he showed me the video. He was an original dab enthusiast. I remember he showed me a, he showed me Falco dabbing in Melee before I even knew what it was. And I was just confused. Kai actually used to be such a zoomer. That's for damn sure. He's eaten one too many down smashes. Yeah, exactly. He's a bit jaded. Yeah. He's a bit Cynical. of a, a doomer, if you will. Yeah. You know your lore. <laughs> I have to know my lore. Let's keep up. With the kids. Yeah. I mean that's <laughs> you know that's how you keep up in this business. Oh, oh my! Some hidden tech. Pay no pay no attention to the man behind the screen. <laughs> Crazy forward air. Get, Get off the stage. Get out of here. Punch. Oh. Yeah, gotta have a bit better options off the ledge than just the regular old above one hundo getup. All right. Well, Catherine's this is a lot potential last stock of the tournament. It's looking more and more likely. This is a big combo. And Kai goes for a grab, interestingly, probably a float. Oh, yeah, good. oh my really good. god, that was pretty I, I I thought that would happen, but I didn't know if it would work, and it worked. That was epic. That was truly epic. It kinda it was Eben. It was Epin, sorry. Eben, Epin. Which one? I, this is a PC thirteen stream. PG-13. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't, laughs> what? I don't want to. I don't want yeah, to make right. it too awkward. You're right. Try and refrain from profanity. It was uh, epic. Epic. Epish. Capish. Epish. Epish. And right, now we got a similarly uh, climactic battle about to it's grand finals. take place on the battlefield of South Australian Smash. These two titans. Eternally at war couldn't with each have, other. Couldn't have ended any other way. Could not have. Could not of. Sorry. They were destined to battle on this stage. Two absolute legends of the scene. Two kind serious of, heavyweights. Kind of the yin and yang in a, in a lot of ways. Yeah, you got Fox. Falco the yin Falco. of melee and Falco definitely the yang. Wait, what? Say that again? <laughs> Didn't you just say Falco was both the yin and the yang? No, I said... No, I said Falco. Falco, Fox is the yin, Falco is the yang. Do you even know which one is which? Yeah, which one's Falco the dark? Is no, which one's dark, which one's light? Doesn't yin and yang. Probably, probably yang is dark. No, that's the other way around. What's the matter? What a boomer. He doesn't even know. So I bet all you the kids the know. You are the biggest weeb I've ever met. <laughs> you know, Ca Caleb might be might end up surpassing me. Because he started down that dark path. I like this uh, shirt. Yeah, it's got a little little cheater on it, or a, only a, the a only, Slazinger, if only you will. the boomers will remember. Yeah. What is that shirt? The, the pains of being pure. pure <laughs> That's a band I liked as a team. Yeah. I, I saw they they like posted that they were selling merch recently, and they had like a ten. I woke up in the morning. It was like eight a.m., and I was like groggy, looking at my computer, drinking my coffee. Mm. Uh, I was like, oh, I guess I should buy this shirt. I used to like this band. Yeah. And uh, I did. And then I forgot about it for weeks. You still. It was like from America or something. Do you think it's still pure at heart? Or, uh... Yeah, but it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I it's, think. It's rough. I think Caleb has the potential to be a bigger weeb than I am. Like, he'll he'll say stuff, and him and Catherine will say things that I couldn't possibly ever say. I don't even want to repeat it on stream. It's no, too. It's, it's too weeb. Or, like, you know. Do you want to come have a barbecue with Liam's tomorrow? Tomorrow. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah, do it. I just have to. Mm, we, well, need, we need fresh blood. I need to take care of the lawn over the over the weekend at some point. Just come to Lance. I don't even know what that is. Uh, it's like near mine. It was he your former roommate? Yeah. The guy who stole the remote. Yeah. That guy. Clyde will be there. All right. I know uh, that guy. Uh, Liam's friend. Uh, I forget her name. Val, Chris, something. She goes by two names. I don't know why. It's the plan just uh, pop some, some shrimps on the uh, body, that kind of thing. My friend Steve is going to be there. 
Steve. Have you met Steve? Steve Blight. Steve Fox. Steve Blight. Uh, Steve Blight. No. For anyone in chat, Steven. Steve Blight. That is almost like an evil villain's name. My friend Beckett, you, lis you listening wolf, is gonna be there. I know that guy. I don't know. Are you guys, are you guys, you've got a cop in, a cop amongst your midst. He's gonna crack down on all your illicit behavior. No, he's gonna prevent any. He's gonna prevent any like dabs it's... from happening. No, I. He's gonna step in I'm and stop it. Law. I'm above the law when I'm around Beckett. Beckett is. <laughs> he's <laughs> your crony. You exactly. paid him off. <laughs> exactly. You ain't getting this. this you know he's not gonna be there, and Lewin, because he hates cops. Yeah. Yeah, he's always posting things. What a guy. He's always, he's Down, always screaming, kill all in, cops. screaming into the Twitter void. Cops are not your friend. Zero likes. <laughs> kill all cops. I hope he never watches this stream. I can't imagine he would. Yeah. <laughs> you know, come to think of it. You, you, never mind. <laughs> That's, uh... Talk about this amazing game melee that's sure to, uh, sure to unfold. And 50% differential already, and growing. Musket's poning. Oh my goodness. Damn, this is to He's on totally. A oh wait a minute. Musket saying I'm here to win. Kai saying we'll I'm see about turn that, up the mate. Gas, mate. We'll bloody have have to think about that, won't we? Yeah, mate. <laughs> what are you gonna do about that? Oh, nothing. Gonna get hit. Yeah. Beat me if you can, bro. Yeah, nice angle, kid. <laughs> Better luck next time. Yeah. Nothing personal. Yeah. Just had to go all <laughs> out just this once. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, that was nice. That was a little bit cool. A little bit kooky. A little, a little bit, bit crazy. Bit, uh, a little bit of something special. Oh my. The huge. respect from both players. He said, let me shine you. And I was like, alright. I'm not doing anything. Wow. I might do something. Doing nothing two times in a row. Oh! oh! Big. What an option! Get down. <laughs> Go ahead, get down. Yeah, exactly. Go ahead. Get down. It is actually Kai's birthday today. Wow. Really? So, yeah, happy happy birthday to can we get a happy what? birthday to Kai in the chat. Happy birthday to Kai. Happy birthday. Alright, alright, alright. All right. We'll, we'll do a proper song in the venue later. Yeah, everyone, uh, everyone, everyone, pause your friendlies. Kai kind of such a selfless guy that he devotes himself to the, the cause of esporting. Yeah, esporting up this. Uh, Instead of celebrating his special day. You know, Kai's actually 43 today. You know. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. I, think I didn't know that actually. I think milestone of the guys left. Yeah, the big 403. Yeah, 403, actually. <laughs> He's been around a while, actually. Yeah, a lot of candles. A lot of candles. You know? Difficult to blow them all out in one go. Yeah. Getting to that. Oh my! Kai with the Kaiser. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's see his Kai smile there. He knew I was popping off. That's his experience right there. All these years, he was ready for that. These young kids ain't got nothing. Oh my god. His old fingers. Kai always be showing people his little turnaround back air thing. And then he did it. And it absolutely did it to him. Yeah. The end. He just had to do it. Oh, uh, no. Through him, specifically. Musk is just respecting Kai's threat zone and staying outside it. Kai was like, what if I hit you? And it didn't work. Oh, yeah. Hate oh, to see it not work. Oh, wake up grab. Want a jab? Catches the jump, and he's done. That was really dumb. Musk has been caught jumping into that twice now. In Winners, that happened as well. Right, what else are you going to do? Like, not jump? Yeah, that's, that would be the other option. Or you could DI out and not get... Not See, this is, why you, this, is, this is why you guys are not in Grand Finals and you're sitting here watching the game being like, I would have done this. Must get so dumb. Why aren't I winning all the tournaments? That's what I'm like. Yeah, I often ask yeah. myself why I'm not winning the tournaments. Yeah. And the conclusion is inescapable. Okay. It's that I didn't actually enter them. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> that could be the answer. <laughs> but we won't know until you do enter them. That's true. Well, that is actually the reason. Even if there was another reason, the, the primary reason is... Look, the fact is, you didn't win the tournament. And like you said earlier, there was no way, there's no world that you were. It's just, you were destined ever. to not win the tournament. I could not have ever won it. It was just not possible. The events were locked in stone. It's okay, I need to get my hand to break. Your it's hand, been, you play one-handed? Yeah, well, my... The other that might be the other only, reason. Only one of them needs a break. That might be the other reason. Just for anyone in the chat, I do have a John. It's that I have saw. It's my hand uh, got sliced. Mm. So if I lose it, the big cheese too. That's probably the reason. 
You know, I and mean, that could be, but we don't want to cross out all possibilities just yet. We want to keep ourselves open. Oh, I'm sure I'll really have other see these situations. Like, uh, maybe I'll get a bit hungover. Maybe some will. Well. Bit of a tummy ache. Stummy ache, if you will. Stummy ache. So, Kai. Well, Musk is taking him to FD this time. It is nice having a visible wound, though. Because uh, I feel like John's. You get out, of, get out of the draft. John, they're taken with a grain of sand, if you will. This guy, hold on. Stand back. This guy's a veteran. <laughs> He's seen some action. Get out of the draft? I just didn't notice he said that for like 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Thanks. I'll be here you know, every other week. Possibly. If I'm not in the draft. Yeah. Alright. Musket's up a stock, but he's looking a bit injured. Looking a bit off stage. 100 nicks out of 100, shoot double lasers there and cover the downward angle. But Kai, with a different Falco and a different Falco brain. Different philosophy. Gets the edge got a different way. A different style. A different philosophy, that's what it is. Yeah. It's, a, it's a moral objection to lasering in that situation, True. covering the options. Oh, but on a, imagine dash dancing there and not committing to the shine. Like, you literally, by dash dancing there, you're like, I'm going to shine. I mean, I, we don't have to imagine it. We just saw it happen. No, but imagine doing it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can. Yeah, me neither. That's why Musket's really just... He's, he's, he's always been one to really try and help out new players. He provides visualizations. Oh, so smart. That was pretty smart. He knew he could get the, tech, uh, the shine without cutting yeah. out the tech. Didn't so. need to worry about the timing of that one. So smart. Some smart stuff. Just very smart. Yeah, he's looking out for the new player and Getting he's some helping happy them. Happy birthday, Kai's in the chat, by the way. Happy Help birthday, Kai. Helping them visualize situations they wouldn't be able to do on their own. Ready? Kai's wearing his lucky birthday chain today. I swear, that looks like Dante's pendant from Devil May Cry 3. He looks so badass. He definitely looks like a badass, like... Yeah, church man, like you were saying earlier. No, you were saying that. I was saying it looks like Dante. Dante's not a church he man. He looks like a church man, like you were saying. You know, I don't think <laughs> oh, I was saying Oh, boom! Kicks, slice. Oh, how can he slice with a blunt object? <laughs> how can he slice? How can he, how can he slice? That's it was joke, clearly right? the professor in the in the dictionary with a lead pipe. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely lead pipe. Bruh. Must go to the jump back that time. Kai covering something different because he expects the uh, mix up, which he gets, but doesn't get the right mix up. Or he did it again. Dash dance. He couldn't. He couldn't postulate that possibility. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nice <show> postulate. <laughs> Sliced up. Oh, tries to read a jump. That's yeah. hard. I think he's gonna go for the instant shine there. I think. He, I think he did actually just miss the shine. It's hard because the frame that you can jump is earlier than the frame that you can shine because of a Isaiah frame. You can't beam move out of uh, Interruptible as soon as, but you can jump. Some, some tech. Yeah. So you could, uh, for That's instance, wave dash out of uh, the ending frames of Moth's down tilt, but yep. not Dancing Blade. Well, you can Dancing Blade because you just walk forward when you're holding oh. forward. That's true. And Counter you can walk out of. But there are a lot of situations like you can't short hop double fair and then like you can't short hop fair and then forward B as soon as you could. Uh, fair, for instance. You know what sucks is that, or I wish was like different, was that you can't wave land after like a short hop back air. It's like just it's you you get the you can, auto you, you get the auto cancel. Bit. You got a what? You got to jump a little bit. If you like an instant jump wave land, like you press. It. Y and then L on the next frame, you get a, a pretty much wave land. Not that oh, one. that's pretty wild actually. That's PPU tech. I I, of that. Like PPU like had a whole video about how it was new tech, but actually I feel most mods would have figured that out. I didn't know time. you could jump out of those ending frames then. Yeah, you can. Shutting him down with his lasers. Nice Hitting him down. Up shine there, I like that. Yeah. Put him in place and then just. Took advantage of him. Gets the wrong VI read, goes to the top platform, and then tries to like continue pressure on the platform. Oh, you got locked into place there. Locked up. Oh, SA Nick would have dashed it actually, not Ned. Would have sent him up, up wise. Yeah, but SA Nick ain't in grand finals. 
And there seems to be maybe some conclusions you could draw from that. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, man. Slash. <laughs> Cut him up, <laughs> Fox. I might. I'm being sliced. My reputation's being sliced. Play that much. Oh, fade in there. Risky. Especially because you're not really going to get a combo Ooh. off the net, so there's no reason to fade it in. It's almost an inspired choice. Oh, my. Kai needs to win this game, actually, to win the tournament, I would say. Yeah. You think and Fox is about to clutch. He's clutching. I don't know. Is he? He is. He's clutching. Is Look. he? Oh, is he, he clutching or is he not? Yeah, he's clutching. I don't oh, know, dude. Joking. I he's don't joking. know. Oh. Yeah, Musket's choking now. He went oh, from clutching to choking. He's yeah. choking, bro. Yeah, it's yeah, over. it's over. You can tell as soon as he drops that one thing. Oh no! <laughs> Kai with the Ooh. manic facial expression there. That was almost very cringe. He was. His face was saying yikes. And if you could lip read, he might have actually said yikes. <laughs> But I, can't, I cannot. Out. There was yikes in his eyes, I'll tell you that much. Jinkies. There was yeah, a little bit of jinkies. Only the boomers will remember. Ready, uh, I, I love Velma. I, True. I mean, who doesn't love Velma? Velma is the best Scooby Doo. <laughs> I'll take that I mean, crave. What about Scooby Doo? I think he's Velma a little bit better at being Scooby Doo. Scooby -Doo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to keep your fetishes away from me. <laughs> right? <laughs> No, it's Velma, then Shaggy, then Scooby. All right. Are the best Scooby Doo's. What about the? Haven't you seen the the side spin-off series where Shaggy and Scooby inherit his uncle's fortune and they become like spies? Or like they use his like technology to solve crimes? Haven't you seen that side series? Side series. It's a real thing. What about it? Haven't you seen it? <laughs> yeah. What about it? Have you seen it? I've seen all Scooby Doo's. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, how do you rate it? Oh, it's alright. Sorry. It's all right. okay. Does it have? Uh, I don't remember how much Velma was in it. Uh, I don't think they. Uh, none of the rest of the gang was in it. Yeah, that was that was in, in my view the main flaw of it. What about the one where oh, like the Randall get involved and Musk getting involved in a nice angle? What He's about saying, <laughs> what about the remake that had romantic subplots? Which you mean the live action one? Was, no, no, no. It was a, it was an animated series. Who was uh, Velma romantically linked with? Shaggy. That, I, I like that. I ship Velma and Shaggy. There you go. Because it's the straight edge, like, nerd librarian and huh? the stoner weirder. I, don't, I, I didn't see all the episodes. Well, that's I don't the thing. Know. Could be true. I mean, they are kind of like bros. That's like in uh, Kath and Kim when Brett only pays attention to Cujo and not Kim. <laughs> that's a reference. Uh. You like that? <laughs> I don't know if I do. I don't know the reference. So it's unquantified. Wow, that was a quick game. Wow. Game luckily, luckily Kai had that buffer. Luckily we weren't watching or talking about the match because it was it was quick. It was yeah yeah. Well, it's two two. That's the important thing. It's two two. Kai's still got to Kai's got to win this to reset, and Musket's got to win this to take it home. You know this could make this could mean a lot in these young young kids' future. Yeah, this is a pivotal moment in both of their careers, I would say. Mm. If it doesn't work out here, this could be a change wow, of the guard they, moment. They, they can go home and watch uh, Scooby Doo in the Isle of the Scooby Doo and the whatever the WWE spin-off movie is called. Have, have you seen that? Have you seen Kai run? He kind of runs like uh, like a Scooby Doo character. I think you see like you mean like he walks like uh, like a Belmont character where he, like strides <laughs> forward. <laughs> no. no, he has to pick up. He gets the little little runny legs and then he you know, takes off. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> no. I was like, have you seen? Have you seen the? Um, it's like one scene you need to, you need to see of the WWE Scooby Doo crossover movie. That was insane. That that back air phantom, by the way. Okay. The one before. Well, there's there's a scene where the gang is running down like the side like a like a WWE. Canyon. WWE. No, the, the Scooby Doo gang is running. Look, down it's the Game side. Five, by the way. I know, but I need to get this out. They're running <laughs> down the side of a canyon. And a boulder's coming after them. The boulder's coming after them. And they reach the end. There's nowhere to go. And the boulder's about to, like, push them off the edge. And they're going to die. And then out of nowhere, his theme music starts playing. And John Cena leaps across the canyon, lands in front of them, catches the boulder, and hurls it off into the canyon. 
That's cool, because John shared. Cena actually has a lot of experience wrestling against The Rock, so that would Ooh. come in handy in that situation. There you go. Speaking of a rock, looks like Kai's been put up against a rock in a hard place. <laughs> yeah. He he's got a, find he's got a his big way out. rock aka a mountain to climb right now. Yeah. He's got a windmill in his face. Well, he's got his like, gun and a pair of boots. Maybe Kai needs to take some inspiration from the transformation and transform his own playstyle to uh, take this game. Yeah. He's got yeah. this opportunity. And he starts off with a nice back air. Ooh. Which you love to see. Certainly. Just trying to keep oh. him out. Oh, he's shielding. Ah. We could finish this. Oh, oh it's scary. Musket just nearing. Oh. He's saying, let me wake up and nail you. Kai's saying, yeah. What a short. And that would get hit if he forced much, I think. Oh, tries to big read the full up. Yeah. Musket finding these really good uh -oh. moments to nair in against Kai's lasers. <gasps> you love to see that happen if you're a Kai fan. I love seeing that happen. I love you seeing love that, to happen. See that happen. I love to see that happen. It's happening. <laughs> it's the beginning of the end. Oh you my god. You hate to not see that happen. You just. It just really ruins your day when it doesn't happen. Wouldn't be a melee tournament if you didn't see that happen. <gasps> oh. Anish, he's starting it up. No. This is just he like that one giant. scene. Oh, must be landing on stage. He's a bit scared. Oh, Kai oh capitalizing. Expertly Are we going to get a him reset? Up the stage like is just the biggest that moment of up the canyon. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just absolutely pushing that boulder up the hill like uh, Sisyphus. Like Sisyphus yeah. Except he's except he's had <laughs> enough of this. Sisyphus, he was like, I'm going to do this forever. Kai, he's like, I'm, I'm going to. He like taking inspiration from a legend of our time, John Cena. Deals with the problem in another way. He just gets rid of it. Yeah. He doesn't have to deal with that anymore. The thing is, like the guy from the New Zealand Smash documentary said, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. And that's the problem with Sisyphus. Yeah, <laughs> come on, Sisyphus. <laughs> How long have you been at it for? Get it together, mate. Like, obviously, like, learn from your mistakes, bro. Like, how long have you tried pushing that boulder up? Maybe you should think of something else. Oh, oh my. It's starting to happen. It's starting to happen. Oh, what a grab! He's crazy! Oh, I poked! Oh, wow. Goes for the run-up Shine Dare, presumably. Punched in the mouth. Oh, my. That's big. Oh, that's a really weird choice. It was a it was a choice of a genius. Very clutch ledge dash from Kai. Kai is putting it all on the line here. He must get the grab. Yeah. What a punish. Kill him. That's the eye. Still living, but he couldn't live that! Yeah, Musket. Kai was playing clutch. He, he was ledge dashing, he was moving. Clutch that. We're in for another set, boys. Kai was ready to win. And Musket, there were a couple of games during that set Sorry? where... Uh, what Did he just ask what the set count was? No, that was the first set. Oh, yeah. right, yeah, yeah. There that were a couple of games set. during that set when Musket had a bit of a lead and he kind of crumbled a bit. Like, first game where it looked like Musket had the clutch. Maybe Kai just outplayed him. Do you ever think of that? I think Kai is just in a... Look at it. He's got his chain on. He's, he's, he's looking good. Feeling good. He's got He's the power of the amulet. What? What did he say? Uh, uh, I guess I'd lean over and click a button. Nah, Jack can do it. <laughs> <laughs> what have you said it to? Oh, you've already said it. So I just have to click the click the numbers. I All guess. Right. So we're starting on FD. Final D. That more might like, more like initial D. That might be a problem though. Is that an anime? That's an anime, right? It is. It's about cars and driving down mountains. Yeah. So it's also relevant because the first stage in this uh, engagement. The skirmish, if you will. Is it? How's it relevant? Because it's not the final D, it's the initial I guess. D. Honestly, I don't actually know why it's called initial D. Probably because it's the first D. Mm. I haven't seen it, but that would be my guess. I don't know like, if there's any Ds in the... No Ds in an entire fucking anime? What's Maybe. the point? Oh, he's, he's dead. Oh. <laughs> that was good. Oh, it doesn't stop it at the right spacing to get oh. that. Kai letting these up throw back as rock, trying to catch double jumps, but putting himself in a little bit of a sketchy situation if Musket doesn't. Whoa! Get mad, kid. He was like one place, then he was another, and then he was dead. Kicks! It kicks, kid! He's pumped oh. up kicks. Oh my. Good. Oh! oh, right. oh. And uh. the clean ledge uh. grab to finish uh. it! Uh. Oh. I wish I could just like. I don't know. I feel like there's some like we could play a sound clip of like a character dying in a game, like a do like an old like Doom clip or something. Jumbo. Oh. 
What the fuck? He sounds like Zone. That's, uh, that's Banjo. He says Jumbo and then he screams. Jumbo. Uh oh. I think he says uh oh. No, he says Jumbo. And I will, uh -oh. I will not hear another uh -oh. word of this fucking blast. Oh my god. Musket starting off this first set. Not too great. Musket saying Jumbo. <laughs> uh oh. I know, like, I actually listened to it later in life and realized it did in fact say uh-oh, but it, it will always say Jumbo and it's Mandela effect that it doesn't. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. He's starting to, starting to make it a bit more respectable. He's saying, you can't three-stuck me, Kai. Oh. You can't just three-stuck me, Kai. Oh, oh big. Instant tech shine. This is like what you were, this is Marilyn Monroe. This is the thing. <laughs> he's hitting him harder than he's getting hit. He's oh. getting, back, getting back up. He's like, uh, he's like, tub thumper. You when know, you I can't get... Get knocked down, but I get up again, kind of yeah. thing. When your house gets blown up by creepers, but you put it back together, it's that kind of feeling. You know? It is that kind of feeling. It's good. That musket saying, "Get up, get get up from that up smash, kid." Bruh, <laughs> brew. Kai reeling that. from that kick to the. Face. Whoa, he's gonna be reeling from that. This is some kill brutal. him. Oh, he could have killed him there, and now it's oh, one grab. Reset. Yeah. Reset. So smart. So smart. So smart. Very intelligent. Much reset. Oh, wow, he flies away. The trying tip of the, the boot. Trying to get the perfect drift. Tip of the boot. Kai takes game one. Jack uh, deathly updates the scores. Uh, Kai looking strong on his birthday. There you go. What the hell? Why stores in the chat? He was here a while ago. Who the hell is that? He's a guy. <laughs> Ooh, grab. Oh, it's happening. Yeah, true combo. Probably, not really, maybe. Wow, gonna absolutely do? west Stuck in the corner. Wow, really lucky to get sent What a read! What a read, totally not just an accidental jump. Probably was a read. Yeah, probably was. Uh, sorry, oh, it, was, it was a read, I'm, I'm sorry. Doesn't get the grab. He gets the drill, but not the grab. <gasps> this is like when uh, Leffen beat Espa and he said, Esther doesn't even hit the bread and, and butter. He said, he uh, the keep it 100, kid. And, and yeah, he said, peace, uh, hombre. <laughs> and, he, and he flew off on his uh, spaceship. Catch me outside, how about that? <laughs> Another classic Leffinism. Yeah. What a guy. Ooh. Honestly, Leffin has been responsible for so many cultural uh, moments that we hold dear. Like the dab, for instance. The dab, yeah. When he first, uh, when, when he, he first dab, when he first innovated right before our eyes, when straight after five hours, chilling dab, chilling, chilling dab, but he pulled it out. <laughs> we all remember the first time we saw the dab from Levin, and, uh, uh, thus influenced yeah. the culture in a negative way, but in a profound way, honestly. True. In a way, I mean, who am I to ascribe good or bad to such a momentous? There's no good or bad. There's only dab. <laughs> That's pretty deep, bro. Oh, wow. Just Choosing not to, to, to grab the ledge. He doesn't want that invincibility. He wants the other kind of invincibility. When he ledged it. Oh, he could have... Oh, <gasps> cowardly. Slipping and slide. Cowardly edge guard. Oh, oh, oh. Where, where you get? going, kid? You get punished. On the way back to stage. He's living. Oh, no. Muscle needs to be brave. Uh, needs to be oh, brave my God. Shape. I was expecting up, but he, he went for it all. Muscle winning there. He is winning, but Kai is up in the set, and this is Musket's counter pick. Which character in Friends do you think Kai and Musket are? Um, I reckon Musket's a Monica. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's for sure. Kai might be like a Phoebe, or a Rachel. No, I don't think he's a Phoebe. I think he's more like, um, no. It's hard to say, really. Musket is such a Monica. Oh my god. So who? Musket. He's a Monica. Yeah, he's definitely Monica. That's 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 done. so obvious. <laughs> that's hundred <laughs> percent. But like, I don't think Kai's like he's not Joey. He's not Ross. He's not he's got Chandler. A bit, of, a bit of Ross and a bit of Joey. I, I think he's got like a bit of them, but he but he's not. I don't think he's definitively one character. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Destruction. Kai swagging. Swagging to his death. This is a swag overload. Baggins out, and uh, unfortunately, his Baggins got caught on the ledge there. <laughs> he tripped. He tripped, and Musket was there, standing over him, laughing. Yep, classic Musket. Yeah, real Musket. Always the move. first one to laugh at the misfortune of another. 
True. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing you take away from tonight's stream, take away that. Yeah, he's not the nicest person, but he gets results. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the thing about winning, you know? It's not it's not called uh, friend sports, it's called esports. Yeah. It's not called winning for nothing. It's because uh, you have to be in and to win. This game looking pretty even so far, but unless it's got the momentum, all of a sudden, you know. Just like that, the momentum shifts. Bruh. It's a topsy turvy world. What it's an crazy. explosive game this is. Boom. Walks forward. Beautiful and connection. F smashes. Beautiful connection. Superb. Sublime. Uh, in the words of uh, Ray Hudson, magisterial. It was truly a Patricia, a patrician choice yeah. to go for that. I like no one in the chat is gonna know that reference. I don't know that reference. It's just the soccer commentator who really likes Leo Messi, and every time he commentates, he's like, Magisterial! <laughs> oh, you can say that again. <laughs> Saw something big. What a poke. Oh, Was that even a poke? Soccer shine sucks. It blows. <laughs> so true, bro. Falco's a low tier. I mean, oh, good jab. Punch. I don't think we'll get any more true after that musket business, but. True. I'm actually telling the facts right now. Opinions have gone out the window. Beautiful punish. Really nice height of a side B to be difficult for Fox to punish. Finish him! He would have had to quickly short hop back air, which could have worked. Finish him. But sometimes foxes are not ready to short hop aerial quickly on reaction. Go for the heart, Osborne. Yeah, uh, that's exactly. That's the truth. Who's Osborne? Igor. Uh, <laughs> um. We could rule this city, Spider Man. He's uh, like, a... okay. You don't know your law? I don't really. I thought you were a boomer. I thought you liked the old ones better. I don't really like cartoons. They kind of, what's the point, you know? Yeah, I mean, we all die world. anyway. Rather live in the real world, you know? We all die anyway. What's the point of watching a cartoon? Exactly. Oh, no point. Calls out that jump, bro. You're gonna pay for that. Where are you double jumping, kiddo? <laughs> You're double jumping into the blast zone, mate. Uh, oh, you hate to see it. Oh, you love to see it. Cast your vote below. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like Press 1 if you hate or love to see it. Press if you, 2 if you're indifferent. If you love to see it, <laughs> subscribe down below. If you hate to see it, hit that subscribe button for more uh, for more games. Hit that subscribe button and maybe leave a comment on what I can improve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always open to feedback. And uh, fat money. Oh, you hate to see that. Oh, you, you love, love to see, see that. Uh-oh. <laughs> you, 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 you see it. All right. That's the truth. He's only one game away to, from clutching this. Musket. He was he was ready to take this whole tournament, and now he's in the he's in the dumpster. That's hit him with a quick six four. Might he be. could have ruled this. Spider oh, Man. Born. Is that right? I know. Ah, awesome. oh, big roll. Impressive. That's a classic line. Oh, Musky's punish is not quite clean enough for this stage, this level, this battle, this uh, land. It's a land <laughs> of many, <laughs> many games. Oh. Uh, He's got no jump, bro. He's dead. Imagine. He's not dead. He's okay. a magician. He He's a patrician. He needed to jab as he was going past him so he'd have time to mentally get ready to like, grab the ledge. Because I think he just didn't know how low power was going to go, and then he was afraid to wave dash to the ledge. Like, obviously he could have oh, done you it. You see that? He certainly psyched that dude out. He's, like, just smooth in front of his face, gets him to jump. And People him really out. be not grabbing the ledge. They want to be on that stage. Now look, dude, he's trying to earn his wins. All right? Yeah, not everyone's just going to grab the ledge like a melee player. You know? Uh, Fucking melee players just want their wins handed to them easy. Just grab the ledge and he's dead? Come on, what's the fun of that? Oh, what a read, dude. That was cool. That was an unorthodox option. He's living. He's dead. 
can't DI that to the side. You gotta DI that up or slide. Alright. Musket trying to prove that this is his stage. Because Kai did win here last time, right? This was, this was game one of this set, which Kai won. Oh, shine deuce. Oh. What a crash cancel. He was crash. He seemed to be in the air, but Kai knew best. Oh, no he tech. Was saying, no, I'm on the no tech, no life. And Kai poised to take this after a very convincing Wait trio a minute. From wait a minute. The momentum is shifting. I can feel it. No, uh, I can it goes. It. it goes. Oh, wait a minute. Say that again. Can you, are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? I'm not feeling any momentum shift. I'm feeling Kai with the momentum. You feel Kai shifting into next gear? Oh, yeah. I like that. That was good. That was smart. He went down there. Musket needs a big suck here. <laughs> Beautiful poke. Musket content with little onesie twosie combos. And yeah. uh, sometimes you got to go for the, the big bad threesie foursies. Maybe he's going for the long haul. Saving his energy, you know. Gets a grab. Good. Oh good. my! Baits it out. Baits it out. Punishes. That's good. But technically, it wasn't truly a punish because oh, there was a whiff punish. Kind of, but he could have done something else to stop that whiff punish. Pretty shine. Yeah, it? but like shine, you can cancel it like frame like five or something. Yeah, it's know. a jump squat. Yeah, which you can then cancel into grab, bro. <laughs> Let it be shine turn around grab <laughs> yeah. in, in the air, in like oh. the middle of nowhere. Wait a minute, potential last stock for Musket. Gotta make it count. Will he do it? Or can Kai take the tournament and thus cement oh, his place to get out of there, the but best Musket's too melee fast. player in history? Musket lives to breathe another day. Brings it to a game five. This is it. This is the final game of the night. Is it going to be the reign of Musket continuing? Or the beginning of a new era? I thought you said at the beginning of this, Kai was kind of running over people. Now the story is totally shifted. Muscat, the veteran, undefeated in Never Australia. been defeated once. Never been defeated. Never even looked like being defeated, honestly. It's just never happened before. Cleanly 3 0 in Kai in winners' finals. But Kai, with resistance. Oh my oh god! Ah! Oh, he could have. That was so. That could have been just ridiculous. Yeah. I feel like Kai is like the, the Jedi and Musket's like the Empire, you know? Because like we were saying before about their respective personalities. Yeah. <laughs> and in, always... the, in the Jedi Vampire alignment. Oh chart. my! Maybe Kai's like the, the Goku and uh, Musket's like the Vegeta. You should have said the Naruto. <laughs> True. Well, that's good. I like that. That's good. Musket's smiling. I that's a, that's I a bad sign. He needs to get zoned When in. Goku smiles... Well, I mean, it could be anything. Exactly. Well, he's Vegeta. And Vegeta never smiles. Yeah, he does. There's uh, at least like a few... Like when he's killing people. I haven't seen him during Z, so I wouldn't know. There's a scene where he, like, he kills a dude and he smiles. I've only played the Dragon Ball Z fighting game, but not the recent one, the 3D one from like 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, that must have been pretty pretty recent. It's a 3D game, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not that old. It's <laughs> 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 cool. Beautiful. I'm definitely old You might think that ain't Falco, but that is. Um. Come on there. You don't seem like the type. You know, all the the wrinkles and the, the white hair. I don't have wrinkles. I did have a couple of white beard hairs, which I was very hyped about. Cool. I really cannot wait to be a salt and pepper man. How cool is that going to be? If I had a salt and pepper beard, that'd be so cool. sick. Like, I don't know. colored hair, salt and pepper beard is very I cool. I don't want to assign value to your uh, subjective. You don't appearance. have to assign to it. It intrinsically has value. Ah. Uh, Great. <laughs> Oh, whoa! What Absolutely tagged. Got him an extra. Got him, got him an extra stale move on Kai's. An extra uh, one second of life. Before Kai choked him out. Like Naruto did to Goku. Yeah, in the famed battle of episode season five. Yeah. Of initial D. Avatar. What? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, this is looking, I'm uh, not going to lie, this is looking pretty jinkies right now. Uh, oh, that was a nice punish. Musket looking like a Scooby snack. Ooh, you can, just, you can just eat him up. Kai actually with a sick lead. Kai actually eating Musket up like a Scooby snack. A is he going to clutch it out or is he going to get snacked up? 
He's going to get put away in the lunchbox. The thing about Scooby Snacks is they have low in nutritional values. You keep snacking on Scooby Snacks and eventually you're going to burn out. The thing is they last. They've been going all oh. these years. They've still been going. All the way from the 50s when you were born. Yeah, but I feel like the timeline is not, you know, there's a lot of different Scoobies. This is literally his last stock of the tournament. He's got to make it work right now. I think it's the first stock of the rest of his life though. True. <laughs> What he's got, he's, he's got to make it, got to make it work. But Kai's trying to cook. And is Kai going to be crowned the king of SA, or is Musket going to retain his crown as the king yeah, of SA? Yeah, as the undisputed, never lost before <laughs> once. Oh, he really wanted that second place. It doesn't get oh, oh that. Shine. Oh, Musket's going to play really safe now, but Bro, he's dead. He's bad. dead. This is over. It's done. There's no way he can make it back. And there you have it. Well Good played. set. Well played. Well played. Well played. <laughs> I. And Kai, Kai taking it. the king of melee, takes it against Musket. Redeeming his performance a shadow of his in winners, self. where he lost. Now he takes two straight sets to win the whole thing. Dominant. Dominant, decadent. As dominant. And Musket looking despondent. As dominant <laughs> as John Cena was over that boulder. <laughs> iconic scene. Musket just gave me the finger. Yeah, fuck you. Bruh. <laughs> Why? I don't get it. See, this is it. This is it. You know, it's like we were saying, Musket, really an evil Musket, person. This is like I was saying before. Musket's personality leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah. <laughs> and there's the proof <laughs> in the pudding. You couldn't see it, but, you know, the truth, will, the truth is out there. Yeah, the, uh, the proof is in the eating of the pudding. Uh, well, there you have it. This is it. That was it. It's been lemons. It's been... Catherine. Shaggy. Raggy. <laughs> and Raggy. who's going to interview Kaiser, the king of melee? The man who <laughs> runs like Shaggy. <laughs> Can I interview him? I run like Shaggy. Allegedly. <laughs> you'll, you'll have to ask my co-commentator about that. <laughs> Kai, take a seat. You've earned it. You've earned the right to hey. sit hey on, man. The, on the winner chair. Congratulations. Thank you, man. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. That's good. You played um, well. Yeah. Towards the end, I finally put it together. I felt like you really held it together in the little clutch could go either way, lost stock situations. Towards the end, I was just like rolling where I could. <laughs> no, but you were you were brave enough, especially in the first set, to go for ledge dashes oh, uh, yeah, in lost yeah. stock situations. There was a couple that And there were two, so two games that it really looked like Musket had the momentum and then you were able to stay calm, stay composed, and you really had the mental edge, I felt, in those games. Thank you. I appreciate acknowledgement of my mental game. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> Is there anything in particular you were proud of? Uh, not, not hella much. Um, I think the only thing that I could really have, like, I don't know, maybe I'd like laser musket in the corner and read him like just full hopping out of shield a couple times. Happened like on FD and uh, Battlefield a couple and I don't know, musket's not really ready for really quick backers from Falco. Um, cause he kind of like plays the really quick nair game sometimes and that fucks me up. So like. You just need to get used to the, where the bears are kind of come out. That's one thing I noticed. You were definitely willing to go for the the bed at all full hop back air, and he would jump into it a lot of the time. Yeah, I guess I was like, I think the main thing is like on a stage like Battlefield at least. If I if I don't get it, I get to top platform. If I like do it in the right spot, yeah, at least I get to top platform. And then if he tries to punish, I at least have a shield up. So it's mostly a losing situation for him if I like get him in that like position. And he got a couple of nice clips this tournament, actually. I saw the combo against Kath was really cool. Oh, uh, yeah, I like that yeah, one. That's good. <laughs> I like that one. I've got a couple good combos on Kath lately. Unfortunate, really. She's just not that good at DIing Falco, unfortunately. Yeah, I think a few little things she needs to The work big thing is just obvious. SDIing up their lasers. Also, going off stage to edge guard was one thing she could have Yeah, she just on. stayed at the ledge. It's floating. been that way for a long time. Mm. That's something we can work on. Yeah. Any, uh, any shout outs? Shout out to you for coming. Thank oh, you for showing that's up. That's all right. I'm and glad to be here. It's I like it. seeing you, man. Oh, I like seeing you, guys. <laughs> uh, no, it's, uh, it was good. I had to drive around Adelaide for half an hour trying to find a park because we oh, test matches right. on, but yeah, um, eventually yeah. found some found a park. It's fucking rough. It was looking like I was like, oh, man, this might not be a great tournament to stream, but like at least some, at least we got, oh, thank you. And Musket, nice. gracious $24. Defeat. Thank you. Handing Kai his money. He's not so bad. He's not. <laughs> I appreciate him running the tournament with Jack when Jack uh, said he wasn't going to come. So I appreciate it. I appreciate him taking it upon himself to do that. And yeah. like, I don't know. 
I'm really uh, I'm really happy with Adelaide. Like I love Adelaide now. It's good. It's a good place. Like, gonna have a lot of interstates here next week. We gotta show them the ropes. I was like starting to get a bit worried about G Big Cheese because like we got like 200 people coming. Is that a lot or a little? We had 77 last year. That's more than last year. So, but I I think the ulti guys will do a good job. That's the main thing. I'm just like, oh fuck. I hope nothing like I think I hope shit doesn't go really bad upstairs because that's the only thing. Everything should be fine. I'm then. sure it'll be fine. People have fun. People like yeah. the game. Yeah. Well, at least melee players like melee. Don't know about ultimate players. I really <laughs> like it. I hope that some of them come downstairs for like when top eight happens. That'd be nice. Yeah, sick. Looking um, forward to it. Big cheese too. Next, yeah, next week. Uh, I don't have a scene for it here, but um, yeah, you just have to trust me for it. Yeah, Go I to smash.gg slash big cheese too. Easy. I gotta take like three days off melee because I like chunked my hand yesterday. Didn't yeah, know. what happened with that, man? Uh, I like. You're all right. It's not the what. <laughs> it looks pretty bad on stream. It looks actually. really bad on stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a fucking gash. Uh, well, I was playing indoor and there's like a yeah. net and uh, damn, that's brutal. <laughs> it looks so nice. It's actually, dude. it's like the, it's more bruised than cut. But um, hey, stores, thank you for the sub. Happy birthday. I think that's what it said. Anyway. Yeah, happy birthday, Kai. It's um, not my birthday. <laughs> but I yeah, wish. there's like a little like pegs holding in the net to the ground. Oh, and I, like, fell down fuck and those. Just <laughs> Fuck those. On, like, a little metal divot on the ground. And, uh, yeah, it's bad. That's, yeah, rough, dude. I hope it's all right by next week. I'm sure it'll be fine. I, pr I probably could have played today. It just would have been, like, lot. It would have been a bad yeah. idea, though. Yeah. You got the splice buff coming into Big Cheese. Yeah, got a bit of a download on all the competition here. That's nice. Yeah. wonder what that's like. Can't, can't relate. Anyway, let's wrap it up. I want to pack up. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate everybody uh, chilling in the chat. I really appreciate everyone hopping on the commentary. It was lovely having everyone here. I'm really excited for Big Cheese. Um, now I'm going to host you off to another stream, and I'm going to be on my way. I'm going to be packing it up. Um, but, yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. I will host whoever is live who is in my circles. Um, yeah, and thank you, stores, for for subscribing thank you hobo bloke for a whopping f 233 bits man oh man good stuff actually thank you man i really appreciate you trav for supporting the boy if anyone else wants to support you can sub subscribe at the very least please follow the stream we'll be streaming our major tournament next week you should follow so you can be up to date and also follow couch warrior smash everywhere um so i'm gonna probably host let's see Who's streaming melee, maybe? I'd like to know who's streaming melee. I think... <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, Fess is streaming melee. Okay, everyone goes and watch Fess. Tell him I said hi, um, that I'm packing up, but I'm hosting the boy. Anyway, peace out, everyone.